holly and the ivy time of year. Nice and peaceful in the studio till a bunch of carol singers try to get on the show. Yeah, I said, hey, merry gentlemen, cut the ding dong and I'll teach you the words of a different song. You won't catch me giving Christmas cheer. Now sing the song. Uh, welcome back to the whale, uh, cranky Christmas. Why are we calling it cranky Christmas? I don't know, man. Because you're cranky. Oh, for God's sake! You're not even on the show yet. I am. Uh, we are now joined by Mr. Christmas, a legendary man uh, who celebrates uh, Christmas every. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm, hang on, hang on. I'm not sure I'd be applauding some nutter who actually uh, uh, <laughs> celebrates Christmas every yeah, we're really human, day sprouts. of the year. Apart from Christmas Day when he just has a normal Oh, oh well, in that case, I love him. Because if yeah. you tell me you go for the chicken biryani on <laughs> on a yeah, Christmas yeah. Day with a little bit mistletoe in the middle. I well, mean, the, mistletoe is only an excuse to get mm. your libs up. Yeah. Lips up. Yeah, yeah, your li- <coughs> you well, don't course, bring boozy. Course, course, your lips yeah. up close and personal to um, to the uh, whoever's under it. Yeah, is that um, what you do on Christmas Day? Actually, have a Chinese or a curry? Um, sadly, I don't. It's just the same turkey, roast, sprouts, you name it, it's all there. Do you not differentiate um, on Christmas Day and do a bit extra or a bit less? Or not, something? not really. Extra no, drink. it's it's just the same. I just open the doors, get the neighbours in. Come on, let's let's have a good time. Glass of champagne, do you pay spritz. Every day for the same meal. Do I pay, pay every day? Yes, I do. Yeah. For the same meal. Yes, I do. Yeah. So right. your order, you don't even need to go to the supermarket. I presume you have it delivered. Well, I I just go out and buy a load of turkeys, loads yeah. of frozen sprouts or fresh sprouts yeah. or oh, whatever. I've, okay. I've got lots of stuff. Have you had I've a got... problem with turkeys at the moment? Because there's a lot of mm. turkey at, problems. at the moment, not yet. But there's no. a lot of talk about it at the moment. Perfect. But do you yeah, ever have yes, goose? Because yes. goose is a tradition as well. Uh, yeah, goose. Yeah, Duck. occasionally. Yeah, occasionally. Apparently, it's very good for you hang to on, eat hang the on, same hang thing. On. Would, you, would you like a mince pie? I'll ask. Well, I wouldn't normally offer you a mince pie because if I see one, can I reach it? Come on. Can you throw, on. throw one, James? Throw it. Yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's gone on the floor. Thank you very much. <laughs> one on the head. <laughs> hey. One on the head. Uh, Does Lizzie want one? <laughs> no, no. I'm looking after my figure. So, my love. Oh, so. right. Okay. Now, I think your figure's not. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. not look after now, uh, and it put lots of people out of work. Anyway, sorry. Mm. Um, have you? This is a serious point. Um, uh, is just, it? Uh, yeah. What is it? Well, it's a serious news show. This, for God's sake. Yeah. Um, if you're eating the same diet every day, yeah. yes. Have you had medical checkups? Yeah. I've had I've had talks with a doctor because yeah. I started off being 12, 12, 12 and a half stone, mm. and I went right up to twenty one stone. Wow! I oh, know that was quite a lot. That is I a worried, lot. and so I went to see the doctor. Basically, put me on a little bit of a diet. Just yeah, yeah it's no it's no harm in having a Christmas dinner every day. Too many but roast potatoes. Yeah, cut the roast potatoes down. Don't have so many, you know, stuffing balls, and mm. you know, don't have so much turkey. Definitely cut down on the Christmas pudding and the mince it pies. Pigs in blankets. Uh, yeah, all that. Just yeah. so you just got to be sensible, yeah. and that's what I've done. But it's actually and good to eat the same thing. Your body gets used to it. So I think so. Yeah. Well, well, as as we all know, it's a white meat, isn't it? Turkey. Mm. But don't you get bored of turkey you're like boxing no, down. No, I don't. Bored but hang on, hang on. The the point I was also concerned about it, mm. and uh, as you know, I mean, I'm a certain condition. Uh, do you not have to watch what you're eating? I mean, is mm. then uh, do you have a bowel problem? Because <laughs> not at all. No, no, no. no, no. This feeling, is serious. I'm feeling good. I'm yeah. feeling good all yeah. the way through. Yeah, yeah you know. I mean. smell a rat. <laughs> 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 Okay, if you're going to make light of it, no, I just... No, 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 you're, yeah. you're correct. No. It can't be good for your digestive system, having the same food constantly, day in, day well, out. It's a good diet, though. Sprouts, carrots, But peas. sprouts does give you gas, doesn't it? Do you have a lot of gas? It does. No, no, I don't have a lot of gas. It's got to come out, though, somewhere. Okay, oh, all right, oh, I wish oh, I hadn't well. got... I was the one that brought this up. I w- no, no, it's better out than in. I know that. I've heard that. Not here, though, not here. Okay, right. 
Uh, whilst we're getting over that, I do apologise because, you know, a lot of you might have been joining in. Um, uh, far, I nearly called you Dr Christmas. You do oh. realise you could probably do a doctorate. I think in so. Christmas. Yeah. So I, I think know, you yeah. will be. Uh, I think a, you will be a doctorate. Good, good talk on it. Yeah, yeah. I could do. Yeah, uh, we're yeah. going to play one of your many, many Christmas records. Oh, right. Now. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure which this one is, but uh, uh, it is uh, apparently, I'm told, really exciting, and oh. will now be available oh, yeah. via your website. Yes. For anybody who wants it, here it is. Christmas is coming, and I guess it's up to me. I've had enough experience from the turkey to the tree. It's Christmas all year round. Live it, live I it, live it. More. I yeah. want more. She wants Very more. Good. Wants more. more. Can you do it live? What, what? The, the director came in in the middle of that. I didn't hear a bloody word because oh. I've got prawns in my ears. Oh, He's, He's going to sing Christmas track. every day. Oh, you're going to sing Christmas, oh, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas every day? Yeah, yeah come studio. on, let's go for it. Come on then. Okay, come on then. Oh, do you know the words, Liz? I do. I'll sing Good, good, good. You okay. Oh my gosh, right. All right. Here we go. When I hear Santa's sleigh on a February day and picks his tall away throughout the month of May And when the blue bells spring My jangle bells go jing Wise men proclaim the king Naughty heart to sing Every day, every week, every month, every year Every time, everywhere Everybody's full of cheer Everyone turn to someone and say Make a wish, now it's done Number one. Christmas like number one. Christmas, Christmas number one. Christmas number one. Wouldn't what, that be nice? What is Matt Goss going to say to that? Christmas number one. Forget Noddy Holder. But I mean, Mr. Christmas, what did you do before you had your breakdown and did the <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> I just, well, Were you an accountant or something, a bank yeah. manager? No, I'm an electrician. Yeah. I work on washing machines, cookers, fridges. If you've got trouble with your I freezer, you. can't yeah. be, Have you noticed yeah. how many times he's put his hand on her? Yeah, well. Yeah. 
I don't know. I'm sorry, it's about okay. ten. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's yeah. Christmas. It is Christmas, James. I did that it is to Christmas. My so we yeah, can take your clients' questions <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, seriously, you work yeah. as well. I do. Yeah, I do a bit here and there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, do Little, you not? Do you well, not go? I mean, serious. Okay, because we are a serious news program. Just we doing are an end of yeah. year. Mm. Uh, he even thinks he's part of the bloody program now. What's going he on? Is, he is. Um, so okay. Uh, do I mean? Do you not? Is there a problem? Have you got, I don't know, relationship <laughs> breakdown? Shut up, no, Lizzie. No, no, I, no problem at all, James. It's How just. Dare you every, say that? Lizzie, just, shush a minute. It's just, you know, that, that I started doing it a long time ago. Yeah. I enjoyed it, so yeah. I kept on doing it. Every morning, every, you get out of bed. I do. You prepare for the day, which was exactly the same as the day before. Previous, yeah. yeah. Because it's Christmas Day again. Yeah. Open my presents, have a couple of glasses of sherry. Why you uh, but, 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 I have will to you buy them myself. I'm doing an in-depth uh, discussion. I, I have to buy the presents myself. Yeah. Yeah. I open them, yeah. prepare my Christmas dinner about 11.30, yeah. sit down at 5 to 3, Right. have the Christmas dinner, watch the Queen speak. Okay, how long have you been doing this for? Well, it's come up my 30th year. Right. Wow. Have you ever, ever, and be honest with me. Go on. Okay. Have you ever had a relationship? Yeah, I've had a relationship yeah. with with a woman or a man. It doesn't matter. Not a turkey. No. Uh, yeah, I've, a reindeer. I've, I've had re- yeah, occasional. Really. Yeah. I've, I've had relationships. <laughs> and so, have. have they done the same thing with you? Well, they have. Is that but where the problem comes? Mm. Sort of. They don't seem to last long mm. because oh. they don't like the idea of a Christmas you see, I don't dinner. Like sprouts, change. isn't it? It's Maybe sprouts. we could um, work out. She, I don't just, like a, change. just a minute. I'm going to let you come in oh. in a moment. All right. Just trying to get into the mm. background and you're interrupting. I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I can see. Now, is there something that... Are, are you prepared? If you met Mrs. Wright, Miss Wright, Mr. Mm-hmm. Wright, Mrs. Wright, mm-hmm. Miss... Do you know what a woman is? Mm. Whatever that and means. would you give up Christmas for them? And would you give up Christmas? Thank you. I've been, asked, I've been asked that question a lot. Mm. I've tried to do it. But I just mm. keep going You're back. You're addicted. You're an addict. I, mean, I You're just Christmas love addict. Christmas. So if yeah. there is a, yeah. a, a somebody out there who feels the same way mm. about Christmas, because I'm concerned about the loneliness that this may provide. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I guess it does. But yeah. um, like I say, James, I've tried it and it didn't work. With you know, Before you know it, I'm, I'm back doing the same old thing. Mm. Christmas dinner every day. Presents, you know, you name it, I'm doing it. I just cannot Christmas leave it alone. Means- is there a yeah. positive to this lifestyle? I'm hoping. I'm, I'm hoping. Um, at the end of the day, I, I guess you know I'm a very happy person. Mm. You know, I've always now a very smile. happy person who apparently some people may think not us, but may mm. think is a bit nuts. Mm. Well, I don't care. So, is it you financially know, rewarding? Because you, you get a lot of interviews all over the world, don't you? And you oh yeah, well yeah. And, I, I and if we do, pay yeah. you as much as we're paying you for the interview, it'll be yeah, very. I mean, Lucrative, yeah. yeah. Every day. Of course, yeah. Could well, you give up the white perks. goods repairs and the electrical stuff? I think I could actually, and so, I think so I would. It's a good thing, then. Yeah, yeah, way. yeah. I mean, it's not my favourite thing. Head inside a cooker trying to mend it and all that, but no. you know, Christmas I love. I mean, look at the time we're having now. It's yeah, it's yeah. Quite fun. Decorations. Yeah. I mean, you have here an official Christmas card. Yes. Oh. And you are sponsored for this. Yes. By a radio station. Uh, or well, that's one of your many sponsors. Oh, um, yeah, on the other, I mean, yeah. these, these. How many did you send these out? Chat to? lines. About fifteen thousand. I send that out every year. Oh, well, Seventy pence a minute. Do Do big and busty. A diff- shush. Oh, oh. <laughs> ash. Oh. No, I didn't know Ash was going to be a naughty boy He's tonight. He's very, very naughty. Okay, you yeah. Get a <laughs> Ring that number, Chuck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, You've been hey, a very you. naughty boy, and I'm t- going to spank you. What? Town. Oh. oh, eight, nine, eight. Oh, oh. No, I don't remember so that you one. Need a woman that likes turkey, Brussels sprouts, and gets presents every day. I can't see anything wrong with that. No, there is nothing wrong with it, Liz. It's just fun. And it's just a great diet. And I, you come in my house any time. You can smell the turkey cooking, oh. the Christmas music playing, whether it's July or September, and it just makes you feel good. Mm. You know, it really does. I mean, there are there are some numbers on here that I think yeah. if you use a ring, Ash, mm. you better ring under a different name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really <laughs> do. Oh yeah, I really. Do. I think he's just saying that. <laughs> Have you ever made it into the hit parade with one of your singles? Do you know what? Um, I've had a hit in the independent charts a long time ago with "It's Christmas Every Day." Oh uh, well, this is a really good cue to go into your brand new song uh, which is called uh, I Am The Music Man yeah The Christmas Man The Christmas yeah. Man yes. oh, I Am The Christmas Man right would you like to uh, hear that yes I would first time yeah. playing on national wow. TV and radio international, international. TV and radio uh, here is Mr Christmas with I Am Christmas Man yeah. 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 so Mr Christmas 
Christmas once a year, but I'm always full of cheer. What's the point I hear you say? Listen to it every day. I am your Christmas man. Summer, but I don't care. I might invite young Tony Blair. I am your Christmas man. I come from down your way and I say, I Let's eat some mince pies. I'm starving. Chew and chew and chew and well, really well, really well. Chew and chew and chew and well, chew and really well. Pull and pull and pull and hard, really hard, really hard. Pull and pull and pull and hard, pull and really hard. Mr. Christmas is my name. I enjoy it. That's no shame. So come on, party, make it snappy. All I wanna do is make you happy. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All the fun is to ride along the silver sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All the fun is to ride along the silver sleigh. Fantastic, Woo! that was. Yeah, a bit of fun, isn't it? Right. Right. Yeah. I want Christmas at your house. Oh, you're well, welcome to come down Any day change. of the week. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Welcome back. Uh, I'm so excited now, I can hardly <laughs> breathe. Hey. Um, hold on. So, for actual Christmas Day, uh, celebrated, celebrated, uh, celebrated by people who uh, really don't like it one with the other, I think. Um, <laughs> At your house, okay, have mm-hmm. you got um, ashes here? Because nobody yep. celebrates it at his place. All oh, right. Uh, no, 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 and you, you're not, you've got nothing to do, did you say? You're, no, you're... I've actually invited my village over to mine. Cause well, you do live in a palace. People, yeah, yeah, so you can, they're coming to my oh, place. Lovely. So would you invite nice. Father, Mr. Christmas, of Father Christmas? Of course I would. Well, he oh, knows thanks, e- about Christmas. You'll make it the party. I will, of, I will, yeah. You know Just everything. let me lose, yeah. You know all the things to do that Bring I don't know. Bring me guitar, I'll be well away there. And he does it, he's got his own sort of... You know, you sing, don't you? And I do, yeah. Yeah, you sing yeah. for a living. But studio as well. Friendly and you could get your tumble dryer fixed. Oh, that would be great. I yeah. need my tumble dryer fixed. If you fixed. want the elements screwed in your cooker as well. Yeah, yeah, that's another yeah, story. Yeah. Yeah. Touch him yeah. again. I'm oh. going to count. He's, every, yeah. he's, one of those, <laughs> he's one of those touches. You know, to every... Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Can you put the mistletoe? Oh, God. No, put that back in your pocket. Yeah. Oh, no. Honestly. Hey. Oh, look at that one. Oh, gosh. How disgusting. No, yeah, no, guys, jealous, guys, jealous, guys, jealous. guys, honestly. Don't be jealous. Uh, yeah. Um, so, so do you, I mean, do you celebrate it with all of your village? Everybody comes to uh, your if, house? If anybody wants to pop in, James, that yeah. day or Aww. any day, yeah. they're welcome. The door's open. Don't just say that. You'll get loads of people nutters to Oh, I've had all that before. Oh, right. But, you yeah. know. Yeah. I do, yeah, and do, just, do you find people are, are getting less interested now than they used to be or not? Not at all. Not at all. No. We've had COVID for three years, and it's all coming back at me. So, Ooh, you yeah. know, fingers crossed, yeah. and uh, it's going to be a great Christmas this year. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. But what about, you know, shouldn't you call it Mr. Winterville now, because it's offensive to people? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Fr- Frighten me to death, then. Frighten me to death, yeah. Frosty the Snowflake, <laughs> he doesn't like Christmas, because it's uh, anti-other uh, cultures. The phrase is happy holidays. Exactly, oh, yeah. No. It's Mr. Holiday. About, and you, by the what? way. What? Pardon, yes. I have read bits you've gone on about Meghan Markle and everybody oh, else. Well, haven't you changed your mind that? about her now, after all what we've seen? I have to say, you have to, no, James. I think, if you want I think the two of you have actually embarrassed yourselves. Hold on and a minute. Me. Hold on a minute. I mean, honestly. I've got a present. Yeah, I'm Mr. sure you Christmas. have. For Mr. Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, go on then. Shall I open it? Go on, yeah. Is that okay? Well, we've got two minutes left till we go to the break. Okay, okay. Two minutes to the break. Go on, rip it home. Go on. You better, um, you better um, fling it over here. I'll do it because well, you must be very good at rapping because you they're, do they're it all the time. They're just going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, they're going to. Go on, help me. Yeah, come on, guys. What have you got on this? Just this. Yeah. How about that? Okay. Need a little something. Um, Mr. Christmas, I want to thank you while you're doing this of coming a long way to be on our Christmas special. Oh, for my favourite ambassador's tea party. My favourite. Yeah. Chocolates. How did you know? Oh, I know a lot about you. Don't you? Oh, oh. I'm sorry to touch your shoulder. Stalker yeah, alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Merry Christmas. That's so thank sweet. Thank you, Liz. Thank oh, hang on. Appreciate. Mr. Christmas wants to tell me something. Yeah, I just want to thank you for having me on your show. You know, it's been a, a 
fantastic day for me. I want to wish everybody, all your watchers, all your Aww. listeners, a very Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Happy holidays. Take the break. Thanks, Shane. God bless. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. Woo! Thank you very much indeed. Welcome back to the uh, James Whale Cranky Christmas Show. Apparently, I'm the only one who uh, doesn't go all falsely lovey around here yeah, uh, because of yeah. Christmas. You know, Christmas is a celebration, nothing to do with religion. No. Uh, in fact, religion, as you know, is one of the things bugbear. Uh, from... What are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. We're just being entertained, James. Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, as you know, Lizzie Cundy is on the show. I have to have her every week, whether we like her or not. Yeah. You love Even me. though the Meghan Markle debate is completely <laughs> finished now and the media have showed themselves up to be what they are, so we can forget that. Yeah. Haven't had time to really go into that. Uh, of course, our director here, uh, Chuck Thomas, is, um, is in charge. Any problems you have, he's the one. To talk to him. I'm so full. It's all repeating <coughs> on you, isn't it? Yeah, um, so How many mince pies have you eaten pies? today? Well, because, you know, Christmas and, and uh, Lady W and I thought we'd go out after the show, have a bite to eat, I've had quite a lot mm. of mince pies. I was going to say something else I've completely forgotten, uh, except people, stupid idiots like um, Brighton University, have banned the word Christmas. Mm. You must be complete and utter, I would imagine. Yeah. I can't believe I that. I actually stopped myself using the C word. There. Christmas, yeah, and so those uh, idiots at uh, Brighton University are you? Are you the chancellor, vice chancellor, one of those? You're yes. idiots. You make yourselves look stupid, and I'm hoping none of our tax is going to Brighton University. Uh, and and it's offensive ask, as well, isn't it? You yeah. know, you're, you're deciding what other people are offended by, and you actually cause all the problems. Yeah, people I'm not offended like, by the word like Christmas. You are you? The no, of course not. No, I couldn't care less. That, I really... that puppet is though. Did you see that puppet? Oh, I'm glad you got Frosty rid of that. Frosty the snowflake. Yeah, I'm glad you he got rid of that. He was very offended. And he yeah. loves it's all and about so, Christmas. So was the idiot with their hands stuck up it as well. Well, anyway, I mean, every time. Well, that's his partner. Yeah, I'm just uh, bless you. I'm just being told by the producer it's time for a, a Christmas special oh. of TV Hell. Oh, oh no! Not TV. Hell. When we show Roll lots VT. of embarrassing clips. Roll TV. VT. TV Hell. <laughs> So what's up, man? Well, so starting off with, do you remember Chris Rea? Yes, Chris of course. Rea, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. yes. He comes from the, the, the North East. Now, he had a very big hit at Christmas yeah. once with Driving Home for Christmas. Fabulous song. Um, now, do you remember the pop video? I do. Because the pop video was very unusual. I'm driving home for Christmas. Oh, I can't wait to see those faces. I'm driving home for Christmas. So that hang yeah. on, hang on. That was you. It was me. You this are so 65. <laughs> so you were in his Winnebago. No, no, yeah, no. Why was he driving a Winnebago? Hang, why hang, were you dancing on, on, on the street? Just a minute. That was back in the in the early 1985. 90s. He did a remix. He did a remix. 1985. He did a remix. 1985. Look at he Lionel. did a remix in 96. Lionel would look at young. Look. No. He did a remix and, and a new I, video. Mike Reed you're... was in the video. Hang Mike on. Reed hasn't been famous since 1982. Hang on, hang on. And, yeah, and whoever, I'll, I'll no, listen, this is going to make no you money. <laughs> this is going to make you money. Whoever your surgeon is, they are brilliant. <laughs> You've never had surgery. Never. How no. dare you, How, how, yeah. how dare you? you? Yeah, how all, all how dare, dare you? you? For? Call, calling my lawyers now. Yes, he did. They're busy dealing with Megan. Okay. Uh, listen, I'll tell you what, they did a remix yeah. of Chris Rea's video. And I wasn't feeling very well this day. And he said, I'm doing this new video and I've got a few kind of so-called celebs. And I was like, oh, I don't feel that well. Do I have to? Yeah. And he said, look, Lionel Blair's doing it. And I love Lionel Blair. Yeah, so I said, bless. right, I'll do it. God bless mm, him. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a few people no longer with us that are in that. And, and, also, no, and, also, no, one of them. and, and also no longer famous. 65 mm. years old. Well, the other old. guy won, I think he won uh, the X Factor. I can't remember his name. Do you well, remember Chris Rea. No, there's another singer that's in that, that's 
miming and dancing. Who else? Anyway, uh, we've got two minutes uh, left. We want to squeeze another one. Decker, on. Carol uh, Decker, no. China. Oh, yeah, oh, I love Carol Decker. To Paul. China in your hand. Yep. Um, now, many Paul. years ago, Lizzie Cundy hosted oh, a show oh, hold called, on. This called is Wags World, way. didn't you? It was called oh, Wags yeah. World. Oh, and oh, in oh, the oh, show, oh, each oh. week, she would open with a little joke. Right. And it's quite good. I think you do have a future in stand up comedy. Let's Thank take you. a look. It's true. I was in China White last night. And can you believe it? The bouncer said to me, You're not coming in. I said, I'm not coming in. Why can't I come in? He said, Well, sorry, you're not coming in. I said, What is it? Do you not know who I am? I do Wags World. I'm married to former Chelsea player Jason Cundy. Why can't I come in? He said, It's your skirt. So what's wrong with my skirt? He said, It's too long. I said, Too long? If it gets any shorter, I have another two chicks to powder. My husband Jason, the other night, like talking about the offside rule. I didn't know whether to give him a red card or a black eye. So that was Wags World starring Lizzie Cundy. Very good. Do you good. know what? That was a hit show. We got in the papers every week and it ran. We had three series. When well, I Wags, ran out of footballers. Were you telling happen? jokes every week? Yeah. You fell out I, of footballers. No, I Isn't ran out. Isn't that the of wrong foot- way to describe it? No, I ran out footballers of footballers fell out of her. to interview. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, moving on. <laughs> James. I was married at the time. Do you well, remember what, what you were doing on the fifteenth of December, nineteen eighty-nine? No, because I don't think I was born until. Was he doing? I think I, think I remember that show. I think I was. I wasn't born until nineteen ninety. No, because I know all about the world. He was with Black Lace, wasn't he? Yes, you were filming your Christmas special for yeah. the ITV network with Black Lace. Let's Black take a look. Lace. Fantastic. I met a helpful lady in the shop down our street. Bernard, do it if I've got to make a fool of myself, if I've got to make a fool of myself, Bernard, you know, Bernard, come on, you got to tell me, come on, Bernard, no more, I'm on the back. Uh, it, was a, it was a different time, wasn't it? A different yeah. time. Yeah, a better but time. I have to say, I was love fashion Black better then or not? Well, they all had big hair, even the men, wasn't it? Mm. Back you still got dive. big hair. Thank you very much. But the lead the men. 65, I can't believe that. I have You're not. not 65, Stop, right, I'm getting on to my lawyers. They're busy with Megan. Is, oh, yeah. Um, listen, I'm telling you now, I love men's hair. It was big, bold, Not Pat curl. Sharp. A bit like your like dear Ash has still got hair. Yeah, well, I'm still living in the 80s. But yours is grey. Like, oh. they had, like, oh, highlights. How dare you? <laughs> they, they, when you said Pat Sharp. I love they, Pat. They didn't know who you meant. Did you notice that? You know, no. Yeah. She's one of my best friends. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. You've got a lot of friends. I do. If but he's thinks... one of the best. He's one of the best. He's my best Well, why didn't we get Pat on the show? He wouldn't we do it. He didn't know who Lizzie was. He, he hasn't got the hair he anymore. Me. Ring he him now. I'll ring hang him on, now. Hang on. Like Meghan Markle. She no knows. idea. Uh, what Lucy I will say is, when it was James's birthday, he did record a message for you. Did he? Yes, and we played that on the show, and you didn't know who he was. Yeah, but he right. hasn't got the hair anymore. I will call why. Pat live if you want, and you listen to the response. When we you, haven't when got I time. We haven't got okay. time. Shall we move on to Bernard Manning? Oh. Now, yeah. Bernard Manning was on the same show, and he did a duet mm. with Linda Nolan. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, I love taking it. a piss. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> take it away, Bernard. It's all yours. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. My pleasure. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In Down the lane. Snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. Do you know, Bernard was one of the nicest, nicest people you could ever meet. A great singer as well, wasn't he? And had a lovely, lovely, beautiful singing Was he nicer than Lizzie Cundy? Oh, of course. I mean, oh, she's just on. a rat pag, isn't what? she? I mean, rat honestly. Pag? She's got a nice they, voice, though. I, yeah, I like I, the sound of Did you like my voice? I did. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, Linda Nolan's got a beautiful voice. Linda so, has. So is Bernard. Linda has. But Bernard and Manning had a reputation of... I, I don't so know why, James. because he would not have been uh, cancelled today. No. If you look at the jokes he told, the jokes on Ricky Gervais and, and mm. Dave Chappelle, they're yeah. far edgier than anything Bernard said. Yeah. yeah. At the beginning yeah. of and I think, world. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I you think should actually, have been the next Bernard Manning. Well. Because Bernard was considered to be very working class and very mm. common. That's right. And I think that's why. It's and a so, yeah. They do the same now with Roy Chubby Brown, yet Jimmy Carr said something and they, they he just carries on as normal, whereas Roy Chubby Brown, theatre, it's a snobbery, isn't it? Sort of reverse snobbery. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we've got another clip for you now. Shall we rewind and go back to Christmas Day 1988? Oh. Uh, you were asked, what was your ideal Christmas present? Now, what do you think you said? Mm. In 1988, almost. The Dream Boys. Close. <laughs> it close. would be a girl in a bikini. You're so close. Let's take a look. Ideal Christmas present, right? Okay. Yeah. 
Just uh, all right. <laughs> Ideal Christmas present, right? <laughs> Okay, that's one. Show this. I mean, honestly, remember so it was different times. It was a different and you were time. It's to do a that. very different he time. He knew no James. better. My, my darling wife is outside, and I think you we show call that. Her in. He I was mean, found not guilty. No, yes, just to make it clear. Look, you've got to realise yeah. this was many years ago before HR existed. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it was about at least six months ago. I, I don't feel Christmassy at all now. Mrs. Right, well, W the, is here. This think... will get you in the spirit. Do you remember your co-host from that show? Her name was Donna. No. Let's take a look. Would you like to see Donna in her Christmas outfit? Oh, oh she looks very. What does yeah. she? What, what does think? she wear underneath it, though? Well, I you, would you like to see? Oh yes. Would you like to see? Is would you like, like to? Would you yeah. like to see? Would you all like to Could see? Be, I think we'd take a chance. Yeah, yeah, all over oh. there, darling. Donna. Oh, this is very nice, isn't it, of Donna? And I thought we were having. I thought. We were... Donna, <laughs> my mother's I, watching this. Jimmy, Jimmy, my mother. Donna, what do you wear under there? <laughs> oh, so, sorry. What are you doing? What? I'm making a straight neck. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, no wonder I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> so whatever happened to Donna? <laughs> yeah, what about I don't Donna? Know. No, you uh, don't want to know. And, and, um, Golly, uh, gosh. She's a lovely lady, a very, very nice lady, uh, <laughs> as everybody was. What I'm going to get when I get home. Christmas specials have changed studio. a bit over the years, haven't <laughs> they? Uh, different no times. Idea. It's a different time. Yeah. Um, now, do you remember being interrupted on that show by another woman called Karen? N no. Now she accused you oh, of God. getting her pregnant. It, it was really. Let's take a look. What? This is Karen. Right. Okay. What do you have to say about it? I well, mean... I'll tell you if it's mine. Let's have a look. It's what? Yours, it's, it's yours. A long... oh. oh dear. What's me. going on here? What do you have to say about Stanley, it's my Christmas present. Hey. You, know, you know you don't mind, do you? I've got to do pantomime with the kids yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. All the mums and dads will say, what's this? Merry Christmas, I see. James. Merry Christmas, girls. Thank you very much indeed. And, and what, what do you want to do? Well, they all want to get on the show. Well, look, I'll tell you what. Listen, go, can I just move for one moment? Just sit down there, OK? Yeah. Just, you know, no, fine. You just sit there and carry on with that. And uh, come and sit I, over couldn't, here, James. I couldn't concentrate, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> over there. Because, James, come and sit with me, love. That was a James Similar. sandwich. I think you preferred Karen to Donna, though. You yeah. look very excited Absolutely. there. But, so Karen accused you of getting her pregnant. Were you, were you worried when that happened? No. Did I look worried? You looked proud. You looked well, pleased yeah. with yourself. Yeah. God, I hope on my age I'm not going to have sort of <laughs> over seven. You're I a very you what, fertile man. I, obviously. I'll tell you what I, I did feel in those back in those days. Mm. Um, I did feel that... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did, the mind's what did you feel, man? I'm, sure, sure, no, I'm looking back at it now and I, I can't believe... <laughs> I'm, I was in my 30s or something then, yeah. and now I'm in my 70s, and that's what I'm looking at. And you still do the same but, thing. But that, that show well, no, got a I million don't. viewers. A million people watched that episode. Yeah. Um, well, no, I mean, because there was nothing uh, else on, was there? We actually, time, really? not that people want to promote the fact, we are doing remarkably well on this show, on, on I think what is the major radio and TV channel going on. Mm. I'm being serious for a few moments. They asked me to go on and do a late night show to actually prove in those days there wasn't really any audience there after midnight mm, when everything yeah, yeah. closed down. Yeah. So we went on and there was a huge audience suddenly yeah. came on for all the things that the, the TV companies thought shouldn't be shown, shouldn't be discussed. And they said, would you go on about it? But we're not actually going to promote the fact it's successful. Uh, we'll just add it to our build-up of like ratings. Like now, like the same thing now, isn't it? Well, well it's very popular. Up, I yeah. get so many no, no, tweets No, no, people about watch. This. this is the whole thing. And they don't watch TV in the city. Yeah, it just went up. That was really weird. I'm well. um, um, excited. It and I'm going to call David Dr. Bull. He was downstairs. <laughs> Dave Bull. <laughs> oh, we get him on. I like Dave Bull. I like him. Yeah. It's very erect. Yeah. Dr. Dave it's Bull. It's got a bit semi. Can we, yeah. You see, and we, we've gone into a bit, but people still, they'll get their news, we'll do the news, and we'll talk about the news issues of the day. But they will actually, people who, uh, who, who say, oh, no, I don't like that sort of stuff. Uh, don't watch, but they do watch. Yeah, and they do take it in, and we do do a good job. And there are lots of people there, and I'm not really sure why I'm just it's educational it, as well. Is uh, we bring I, I yes, so we've got one last thing to do now. Go on. Now, in 1987, you recorded two singles. One of them was called "The Whaley Rap," which everybody knows. Oh yeah, everyone Love knows the, the Whaley Rap. Oh yeah. Everyone. But there was another single called "Wrap It Up for Christmas," which nobody remembers. It never charted. Oh. So we've done something very special. We re-recorded it with Whaley, and now. This is the world exclusive of Wrap It Up for Christmas. Wow. Listen up, lend me your ears. It's the holly and the ivy time of year. It's nice and peaceful in the studio till a bunch of carol singers try to get on the show. Yeah. I say, hey, merry gentlemen, cut the ding dong and I'll teach you the words of a different song. You won't catch me giving Christmas cheer. Now sing the song. Round. Have a family fight that goes ten rounds. I won't have a stocking or a Christmas box. I won't have a crib with an ass and an ox. 
Lock it up, pack it in and wrap it up. Uh, okay, so there we are. The new recording that of was Wayne great, Wilson. man. Yeah, I love it. Uh, he's on. still got it. I love it. He's still I don't got care it. What anyone he still says. hasn't got it. He's I, still got it. Still got it. I think I, he, he was like a I, young I, Kanye oh, West. Simon Cowell's yeah, on the phone. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on, Simon guys. Simon Cowell wants you. You will be able to see this again whenever you want, going on to the Talk TV website, and uh, we just put it. It won't be on there. But why would why you anyway? Well, why would it be? Yeah. Well, of course we have one. People don't want to see it again. It's not on there. Is it not? <laughs> is it not? Is Get it on no. there now. You can see <laughs> I the, don't have that power. You Bob will put it on YouTube. You can see that. It'll go on my uh, my website. My you, have you YouTube got a website? Channel. Yeah. No. You haven't thought this through. Have I not? No. <laughs> you got it on your Twitter. On oh, my Twitter. I'll put it out on okay, Twitter. Okay, we can do my, that. I'll put it can on we? my Twitter. Yeah. I'm not very good because of my great age with social media. Somebody so wherever I have social media, we'll put it. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Take a break. Okay, all right, all right, that's enough. No, I've had it. Sick of that. Sick of it. Music off, music off. But all the time. Now, I am fed up with that sound. I I recorded that, I don't know, 30 years ago. It was crap the first time, so while they've redone it again. And not only that, they've got us to re redo it, re redo it. Re redo it. Re redo it. We're re redoing it. it, Now we've got to re redo it. Yeah, and we've been sick of it. In the recording studio. We've our throats like mince pies. Yeah, and the only thing I can tell you is that this year um, we have been asked, and I didn't know it was in our contract to do a certain amount of um, no, publicity we have to uh, come in yeah we've uh, we've come in and we've uh, always read the small print yeah yeah we've had to re-record it and wear stupid hats yep. uh now um daniel uh nickel could you do you know daniel do you yeah, want of course to I know daniel, daniel yeah. nichols our favorite yeah, TV, uh, how are you thank doing you. i'm good how are you yeah i'm good We're ho 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 merry oh. christmas i no, have no, to do no. it i you have can't, to you can't yeah i have to know all you, of that what oh right <laughs> You can't call oh, her right. that. Oh, you can't. Yeah. That was a very funny joke, though. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It was good for you, though. Yeah, that was very, very good. Um, and Richard Case, the ghost challenger, is here as well, over here. Merry Christmas, up. everyone. And, you know, yeah. Why do people say that? And it puts you off. And apparently, not only has Brighton bah, University uh, banned the word Christmas, um, wow. apparently, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cro- Croatia cost... <laughs> this is a news channel. Uh, Costa Coffee banned Cliff Richards' Mistletoe and Wine. Oh, that makes sense. Why? Yeah. It was voted the worst Christmas song says here, of all time. Wine. He's yeah. done worse ones himself. Yeah. Children singing Christian rhymes with logs on the fire and gifts on the tree. Could I just say time I'm, to rejoice I'm with, with Costa Coffee see. here. I like it. I'm full I, of it. I think Costa Coffee, I think you did the right thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, there we are. So we're here, and uh, we're, we're spreading the news of the gloom and the doom, uh, but we also thought we would actually just spread a little happiness well, on Well, it's program. a balance for Christmas. It's yeah. not all light and fun. There's no, some serious no, and no. bad bad stuff. But, you know, they've yeah. come in with all their weird stuff. And so and there are weird and... weird things. And we yes, thought, Daniel, we uh, uh, Richard, some... you as the ghost challenger have come up with a lot of weird and wacky things. They're... I'd like to know exactly, can we get a camera on uh, what Danny's... I'm holding up? Uh, uh, what is that? That is Krampus. Um, he's known in Alpine folklore. And what it is, you've got the traditional St. Nicholas, who was the original Father Christmas, and often um, he'd have Krampus along with him as an assistant. Yeah. St. Nicholas would give presents to the good children, but Krampus, he would whip them if they were naughty. That's um, appalling. I mean, he'd yeah, whip them? I know. And chase whip them, them chase them, um, and even maybe eat them. I don't know. But um, it could be quite <laughs> grotesque. And um, so you wouldn't want that coming down the chimney at Christmas time. I mean, that that is frightening, uh, cut to me. Uh, that is frightening as well, isn't it? Well, it's mm. worse than having a piece of coal yes. in your stocking, well, isn't it? Well, he couldn't be a nice yeah. bloke, could he, that? It'd, it'd not, be not weird with if that, he was a good no. bloke. No, yeah. no yeah. not, not. Okay. All right. He's half man, half hang on, dog. Hang on, hang on. Right? we've hardly got into this feature and you've mentioned stockings already. Oh, well. Yes. Can't help I've got a little fun fact about stockings. Have you really? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah. could, you, could you keep this kind of... <laughs> <laughs> no, a clean one about Christmas. Oh, right, Apparently right. they reckon it's because there was um, a poor man who didn't have diaries for his three daughters. And so St. Nicholas dropped 
um, little pockets of gold down his chimney, which yeah, is where the chimney yeah, comes in. Yeah. And he, his daughters were drying their stockings around the fire. Oh, and yeah. the gold fell into the stockings. And that's why we have stockings at Christmas. That's one story. Sounds anyway. like a load of baloney, that does, doesn't Just, it? Just doesn't it? Because yeah. there's no way that A is getting up on the ceiling, no. B, th- that's landing directly inside that stocking. No, because yeah. the stockings would be no. outside the yeah. fire and they'd fall in. Well, yeah. exactly. And also, the, a stocking, load of rubbish. the stockings, the, the gold would melt. I know. In yeah. the stocking. It's and back then, if they were poor, they wouldn't have stockings. Yeah. So they were a, a gourmet idea, item yeah. back yeah. then. You're right, actually. Maybe yeah. Yeah. maybe it was more, when we say stocking, Tights. maybe it was your sock. Mm, sock. Just Probably. a big warm yeah. sock. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And next one. Yeah, um, the other one is um, in Ukraine, they actually um, hang spiders from the Christmas tree. Live. Oh, this is um, true, yeah, spiders and, um, on the tree. Or any I've spider they can get their hand on. Got one here, actually. There's a spider. Oh, I don't that's think nice. That. Oh, that's actually yes. quite Very beautiful. nice, isn't it? Yeah. Why did they do that, though? Well, what the tradition was that this poor family, they couldn't afford a Christmas tree, mm. and winter come, and they saw this um, tree outside, and it got snow and everything else, and they said, well, we've got nothing to decorate it with. And the spider apparently felt sorry for him and made spider webs and everything else. And um, since then, they've um, looked at this as a very lucky um, charm. Wow. I mean, it's another load of baloney, obviously, but could, I mean, you could, know, you've got to make stuff up. Could like be. This. I mean, yeah. I, I'm going to give that to you, Daniel. Uh, that's so, very so, beautiful, actually. a lucky actually. spider for your Christmas tree. Are you actually giving me that? Yeah, you can Are have you that serious? for your Christmas tree, yeah. Oh, that's thank a, yeah, you. Yeah, hang that it on is your Christmas very beautiful, tree. isn't it? Yeah. Why don't you bring me presents like that? <laughs> can't afford it on my <laughs> wages. Why don't, why don't you bring me nice presents? Because you're I'll not put, wearing stockings. Yeah, you're not wearing stockings. <laughs> the last oh. time I wore stockings, you said you my were disgusting. <laughs> they weren't my dirty, eh? I don't like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, why is it that all these things happen at this time of year? I mean, and people get all fed up about it. My, uh, my local Indian restaurant is the first place to put up Christmas decorations. They don't care one way or the other. Yeah. But you've got a lot of these very sort of poncy up the nose uh, religious people are saying, like Brighton University, oh, I'm banning the word Christmas. Mm. Well, nobody's offended by it. Why would they want to ban it? Well, it was, I mean, it was known as Yuletide, the winter, winter solstice, going back in time. And um, he, the, the Romans just did a celebration, um, Saturnania, I think it's called, back in um, in the day. And they had drank and got merry, which we all do now. And, and that's where it really originated from. Mm. So, um yeah, I, I don't know why they. And the from. Christmas tree came from uh, Albert and Victoria. It was, yeah, yeah. Yes. Brought Victorian, it in, wasn't it? Victorian. Yeah. They days, loved yeah. Christmas because she was yeah. the first person to send a Christmas yeah. card. As well. I mean, the way I'm dressed Victorian is also one of the traditions is to tell ghost stories on Christmas Eve, and that oh. was you know one of the good things. So what I mean, so uh, only since Victorian times, and that's not yeah. that far away. Uh, well, you we, remember it well, don't you? you yes, of course. I'm not even going to fight over this. Yeah. Um, before that, nobody went out and bought the Christmas tree. When you know the end Didn't of the year happen. is coming now, what is the first thing you do? Yeah. You go out and you buy a Christmas you tree. Yeah. Christmas and people tree. panic about taking the trimmings down, and that was only going back when it used to be proper greenery. It so what do people do? I mean, yeah. now you go and look for a Christmas tree and you feel all Christmas, I'm putting it up. Next weekend, let's have a few friends round. But James, they've got half Christmas trees now. Have you seen that? Yeah. In the shops. Wow, half the that? Christmas what? tree. Half? So you don't have the full Christmas tree. You mean the back bits? Yeah, yeah. Off. So you that stick you can on. stick, hang, stick hang on, on the hang on. Genius. I bought that last year. Did you? I bought one Did last year. Did you really? Year. Yeah. It's so a you good got idea, other, that. You got the other half this year, haven't you? Well, no, because you think, in you know, I'm not like the other people. I live in an old person's bungalow. Yeah. So I don't have all that space everybody goes yeah. on about. Yeah. And so you get a flat Christmas tree. That is brilliant. And it doesn't stick idea. out into the room. It's it's genius. Genius. Just, don't, just don't get one. It's yeah. genius. And it's made as what it is. Yeah. So it's not a piece of plant that's been chopped off, half dead in your home. Fancy having this poor piece of, um, of, of tree, oh, no, half oh, dead, no. dying. Well, well people every... plant them, don't yeah. they, after some yeah. people? Don't they? I do. I've got three trees planted in my front garden. Oh, really? They're going a bit crazy, actually. Oh, that's oh. good, though. They yeah. survive. Yeah. That's yeah. what I do. I keep them yeah. in the pot and then yeah, really plant they, they them. Yeah, if they survive, that's good. that's good. But loads yeah. of people take them out of the pot and stick them in water. Yeah. They die. Yeah. yeah. So what did they do before Christmas trees? Just sat there around nothing? Well, no, well, they didn't have anything. They didn't. No, no, Victorian days really brought the Christmas Oops, trees sorry, in. Yeah. Well, the, the pagan tradition still had the candles, didn't yeah, it? And yeah. the gift giving. And yeah. so they've, they've adopted that. But do you want to hear this? this I liked this story, yeah, right? Go on, yeah. Apparently, We Wish You a Merry Christmas was actually a song that was sang by the lower class servants to yeah. their masters oh, as yeah. a threat if they didn't get alcohol. Isn't that brilliant? Oh, so you know when they say we idea, won't go until we've yeah. got some. I might yeah. get mine to do that. It was actually quite yeah. 
aggressively written. So you had yeah. to give your servants <laughs> yeah, some yeah. beer and they could get <laughs> drunk <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> I should treat them a bit better. Yeah, yeah, no, a yeah. Baby. Especially sing as badly as possible. Yes. It's cold outside. <laughs> no, that's actually a bad song, isn't it? That, do you remember they said that has been banned because it's about, I don't know why it was um, banned. A sexual what predator. Banned? A sexual predator. <laughs> yeah, because he's saying, it's, don't go, you're all right, stay here. It's oh, non-consensual. <laughs> Are you sure? How's it going? Yeah, well, he's listening to the words. Because she wants to go home and he's saying, stay here. He's saying, stay here, you'll be all right. He's a bit on top. And then he's saying, have another drink. Yeah, it's just out of order. Do you know what I mean? Baby, it's cold outside. I used to enjoy that one. I I know, I I like it. And so the the radio radio station The Pogue one they don't like now as well. You're not allowed to enjoy it. The other thing is the Tom T. Who? The Tom T. Edmonds, isn't it? It is Noel Edmonds, I think. Um, it was known as the Nissai. They they basically were little creatures in yeah. um, over and abroad. Is that what Father Christmas was based on? No, it wasn't based on that. But um, they apparently, um, they lived in the farmsteads of, um, say, yeah. over in um, Scandinavia. And you had to feed them with porridge and um, milk to make them happy. If you didn't... Well, that makes me happy. If you didn't, they would give you bad luck and they would be yeah. quite nasty. So you but left James, porridge that, and milk outside? That's for you and Nadine. Oh, thank oh. you, Val. Oh. That's a really, really, that's really nice. She'll Christmas. like that. It's yeah. really nice. She will. Now, haven't you, talking about food and porridge, what am yes. I doing that? Uh, food and <laughs> porridge, uh, you brought some food in for us. I have, yeah. because um, in South Africa, they like the fried caterpillar. Oh, what? That's Christmas. And as I... Um, I'm known for bringing in some unusual things. Yes. I thought I would bring in the equivalent to Oh, well, that's, that's lovely. Let me, uh, let what me, is hang, that? Hang on. I've been looking for a re- What is the equivalent? Have you got fried Buff- caterpillar there? Buffalo worms. Oh. Uh, that's Nick Hancock's favourite. Oh, no. Well, the, yeah. the, this is from Eat Grub, which um, kindly yeah. got it to yeah. Chuck. Darling, and, um, come over here. You'll enjoy this. They reckon in Africa, because it's good for yeah. the... Got a, a lot of protein in the, yeah. the, the insects caterpillar. insects are very good for you. Yeah. 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 Because um, I my, think my darling wife has not got earpieces in. So yeah. she, he, Richard has given this to Insects us. Insects are the new meat. I Thank thought you. you'd like that by the Christmas tree. Thought, you know, nice um, little um, Tomty, it's known as. A Tomty. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. And he <laughs> would like to... Else? He would like to offer you uh, a little Christmas yeah, yeah. speciality. Yeah, a Christmas yeah. speciality <laughs> of... Um, yeah, no, just, just hand the plate over here while yeah. you... You know, she can't hear it's a word. Like brown rice. Because a brown rice and very, very... It does, very, look, very, it does look like rice, except when you look closely, they're look very like, clearly worse. As, as, as you can see. It's slightly, uh, slightly toasted. As, yeah, like... Uh, I've, got, I've got the... Um, very nice, celebrity. I'm, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of your theme tune. <laughs> 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 it's quite tasty, a little bit crunchy. Is it really? It's like a sort of a... Nice come, come a little bit closer here, darling. Just they're so, not so. too bad because they're small. Yeah, what you fry them in a peanut oil or something? I don't know how they and how they make them. Have you tried one, Ash? Did you try? I one? can't because they're not kosher, <laughs> and it is against my religious yeah, principles. Yeah. Actually, they are quite tasty, aren't they? Yeah, I bet they have are. Another, have another it's just protein, isn't it? because they're they're very they're they're not too hard. Nice with a martini or something. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you get the tequila, don't well. you, with the worm in? Have you seen that tequila? Oh yeah. I think I think I, think I might try one. Do you want to try worm? Do you want to try worm? Yes. Oh, yeah, worm. I think they're probably quite nutritious. Yeah. Did you oh, know they were worms? Oh right. Okay. Just protein. We're actually. Yeah. You need to something on my one. It's just protein. Um, why don't we uh, Why don't we pop on to another one of uh, Danielle's facts? She's been studying this very, very hard all week. Yeah. So Jingle Bells was the first song played in space, apparently. Because um, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have a, a, a space band going. Uh, what's it, uh, baby? It's cold outside. No, no. no. They, they, they were ahead but of their But apparently, time. I like this bit. Jingle Bells isn't actually a Christmas song. What? If you listen to the lyrics what? of Jingle, Jingle Bells, Bells, yeah. He doesn't mention Christmas, Santa, or Jesus, and that's because the song was written to celebrate Thanksgiving. Oh, so we better not sing it anymore. Yeah, Yeah, so it was never written for Christmas. It was written for Thanksgiving. Oh, they were lovely, those worms, weren't they? But you don't jingle your bells on Thanksgiving, do you? Mm. Really nice. Yes. Oh, Oh, Frosty. The bells are on the sleigh. Snowflake is back. It's all about... What's wrong, Frosty? What's now, Frosty? Oh, dear. By the way, if you had an accident, I found it on the table. We don't it's talk about that. No, I should. Oh, it's what have we done that's wrong, Frosty the Snowflake? Yeah, project. What is your general existence, really? What? <laughs> what? Would you <laughs> out of here now? For <laughs> uh, God's sake! My <laughs> sentence is out. Isn't it funny how one <laughs> word can be so funny? Yeah, that's go on. That's really going to yeah. upset the Snowflake, isn't yeah. it? That yeah. word, Frosty. <laughs> oh, that's. 
If you use it twice, they have to cut it out. Twice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're only allowed one here. <laughs> yeah. But, but, um, <laughs> is there somewhere else you work where they allow more? <laughs> no. <laughs> I should hope Children's not. Children's ITV. No, yeah. my, my kitchen. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, right. Uh, she is really getting rid of her image as a children's yeah, it's TV gone. presenter. It's lo- long gone. Right. Gone. Uh, where were we? Gone. Darling. Okay. Oh, um, we didn't mean it, Frosty. Well, this one's feelings. quite fun. Right. So, uh, a traditional Christmas dinner in Japan is yeah. actually a KFC. Oh, that sounds good, mate. Mm. Do you know why? No. Because there's less than 1% of the population who identify as Christians. And so, KFC did a big promotion saying... Um, Kentucky Fried... What, what do they call it? Hang on. Kentucky for Christmas campaign. Oh, okay. And so oh. nowadays it's become a tradition in Japan that you have KFC for your Christmas wow. dinner. I think that'd be very nice. Did you hear about it? KFC yeah. in Germany? Yeah. What they, they didn't realise what Kristallnacht was and they thought it was a celebration. Oh, really? Put, oh, really? A happy Kristallnacht. <laughs> yeah, so... That's a ball Check on that. Yeah. Yeah, but it um, the other thing is that Bounty... And, and celebrate... Have they been banned along with um, mm. uh, a couple of others... Have been banned from the celebration yes, chocolate right. packet, yeah. which uh, I absolutely love. We did. Yeah, bounce. Somebody's them. nicked them. Anyway, uh, they've what been banned. That? Why is it just because it can't be because oh, nobody likes those in particular? Have you seen the snow? It's probably politically idea? correct. Yeah, incorrect bounties. Yes. Have, have you? Hey, snowflake. Have you seen this? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Snowing yeah. outside, snowflake. isn't it? Snowing. We're, we're an anti-snowflake show. Yeah. And all they've got are snow quite a lot. Snowy flakes. I've got a question for you, James. Apparently, one in three men. Wait until Christmas Eve to do their Christmas shopping. When do you do your Christmas shopping? Um, as late as possible. Ask my wife, <laughs> when do I get ready to go out for something? As late as possible. So you're one of the men um, who's doing Christmas Eve shopping then, yeah? Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> with a, a bit of luck, I might see something We do it online, around, don't you, these days? Online, around online, here and think... You know, wonderful. It makes it... Uh, you're staying with us for the next segment. That's good. Thank you very much. Yeah, indeed. I am, so yeah. we're going to take a break. Uh, anybody, of course, want, um, want a Christmas... Uh, Pie, I think. Yeah. Mince pie. Give us a call. Ah, right, here we go. Uh, wrap it up for Christmas. The James, well, cranky Christmas. But what is, why, why? And crankies. Get rid of the bloody music. I've told him over and over and over again. And what's this apostrophe S? Yeah, what that's is this James Wales. S. It's, there's no friggin yeah, no, but, oh no it's James Wales that's his you name know, Wales it's James Wales James Wales is cranky Christmas live yeah. from the grumpy grotto without the which crankies. is not where's that engineer bloke who's been annoying me all night what's his name he's gone to HR Matt I can give a sugar where he goes he's quiz. Um, so James correct and so he's quiz. just one apostrophe after the S I yeah, thought exactly. you said James he Wales. wanted I didn't, yeah. Yeah. he's quit oh, well I would never oh, ever ever yeah. employ him Snowflake. anybody again yeah. ever anyone that's it as far well, as the snowflakes complaining as well. Hang on. Well, he or she can bugger off. Uh, sorry, Chuck, what were you going to say? Oh, you Merry wanted... Christmas, James. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Chuck is such a decent bug and yeah, such a, a nice man. guy. Um, I, um, I can't do that, Chuck. Can I? <laughs> they can't hear him. Oh, oh, hang on. Matt, the engineer, would like to come in and try a... Worm. No, do you think... I, I mean, that would pie. really... I mean, spy would be a... Would it? Sure. No, well, no, no, it'd be, it'd be no. A mince pie with worm. a couple of worms sprinkled I think, yeah, on the He's yeah. bought a special jumper for tonight. Has he? This really? Is his first time on TV. Really? It's going to be his last oh, time as well. Oh, yeah. So, well, first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Christmas, yeah. Christmas cool. like jumpers. Duck, duck, what do you want, Matt? Do you yeah. want a worm? Hang on. Do you want a worm? Do you want some worm? Hang on. I've got one. Just a minute. He's gone. Just, can we, guys? No, 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 no. Right. Let me just sort this Where's out. Where's he gone? Yeah, no, he's not. Look, he's he's, you said stay down there. You said it's his first time on TV. Yeah, he's not. He's not. He doesn't realise he's been given direction. Okay, you told him to go down. That, would I you said shut, shut down up? a little bit. Yeah, I he said, doesn't understand what you meant. He's yeah, doing no, the wrong no, thing. Hang on, he'll he'll learn. He's very young, and he's probably doing this so his mum can see. So sorry, mum. Uh, we'll get. He it. missed school we'll, today we'll for this. It. He missed school for. Well, they don't go to school anymore, do they? Do they not? No, they don't. They actually don't go Drop to school a snow anymore. And they take right, okay. Um, right, uh, so we're going to get him up, but only to mm, about matron. that height. Okay, yeah. so his mum, who bought him the top, can see it. Okay. And then he can go home. 
Now, okay, yeah, let's do good. it, man. Okay. Um, so here's our engineer, Matt, um, who uh, has got a really nice... Come up, Matt, now. Yeah, come up, Matt, too, just so... <laughs> yeah! Whoa, yes! Very, very nice. Well, lovely, yeah, yeah, very, very... Oh, look yeah. at that. Very good. Let Double snow, smoke. Tell the truth, though, Matt. Whose jumper is it? It's my dad's. Yeah? It's your dad's, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, give, give them have some yeah, worms. Have some, on, worms. Have some worms. Mm. Yeah, we we'll stay fried, there. Deep fried deep fried worms. Talk yourself to a worm. No, no, Matt, pass yeah. them over pass here. Them over. Yeah, come on, Richard. Probably you've been on the show away. twice. Have a, have a handful. Of worms. Just move over here. Fist you know, of worms. <laughs> come on, Matt. You're shaking like a leaf. I'm freaking out. Right here. No, there we are. The You're Matt, Richard. Stay there. Don't move. Thank you. <laughs> so difficult to get stuff. <laughs> Eat, come on, eat, eat, come on, eat, 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 He's, he's crawling out of the room yeah, in yeah. tears. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Lucky, lucky that uh, people get to. Uh, re- oh, you've got them all over the desk here. That's horrible. Oh, look, that one's got little legs horrible. and his tongue pointing out. Ooh, it's all on Voldemort. Yeah. So, Richard, you've got a, a few things here. What else have you got? Um, everyone thinks of the chimney and they think of Father Christmas coming yeah. down the chimney, but the chimney was often thought of as a, a sinister <laughs> place for um, evil spirits coming down and witches coming down it. Yeah. So um, what they used to do is they used to put these shoes up in the chimney. I don't know that I'd fit into those. I no, have I don't think so. You are. You, they would fit well, you, actually. You've got quite basically, they, they thought that if anything evil came down, it would go into the shoe rather to the person. Is that well, why would you think? That's a child. That's a child shoe. What's the logic in that, that it will go into the shoe? No logic, no logic That's at all. No logic at all. Is that yeah. a really old shoe? That's Isn't a really that old cool, shoe, yeah. and that would have been buried in one of the foundations. So how is that from the 17, 1800s? Could well be, yeah. Do you know... They I'm, don't make them like what that. Are, what are my, no. One of my favourite uh, TV shows, when I'm not, you know, uh, is that Antiques Road Trip. Have you ever yeah. seen oh, that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. It's funny Bruce. who's at home Fiona watching Bruce. TV, isn't it? Um, and they're always going into places looking for things and finding things like this. Yeah. yeah. that's right. And, and that cool, is isn't probably it is, isn't it? Yeah. that is probably true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, no, you're making that up. But probably somebody went to a shop, bought that, and then stuck it in their chimney one Christmas. Yeah, well, they probably wore that. this. And Apparently you can put it. your hand up your chimney and you may find certain things like bottles and all That would have been like a three-year-old really? shoe, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If you've got an old that, house as well, you know, look what... That might not even ever have been used. They might... No. It doesn't no. look like it's no, actually. It doesn't it's look like, like it's a been clog. Worn. This is what you yeah. call a clog, isn't it? It's yeah. like a clog, yeah. Sparking your clogs. But it doesn't look to me like it was made... No. It's not been worn. Yeah, it's it's been made back in Victorian times. Yeah, beautiful that is. It it's looks, cool, isn't it? The leather is very stiff. Yeah. You, yeah. Would Bill. you not? Every, <laughs> every, 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 every time. All I did was there's, nod. There's no insults. You did. No insults. No, no sizing. I bet they're not comfy, especially with the turn up on that toe. Yeah. Mm. You need to, to soften them up a bit. Yeah. yeah. Need a stretch. Daniel, give us a fact. Give me a Christmas um, fact. So apparently tinsel used to be made out of actual silver. Yeah. Can you imagine that? No. Oh, bloody. Yeah. Um, and Probably mistletoe. Wouldn't. Yeah was not just a pretty decoration it is actually an ancient symbol of fertility mm, so watch matron. out you don't want to get that's uh, so well, i mentioned that earlier yeah. Well. yeah you can get pregnant with that mistletoe. Yeah. Mm. Get me- what, with but mistletoe? the word yeah. mistletoe i can't remember which language it's in but it actually just means dung on a branch really? dung on a branch because, really? yeah because it, the birds eat the berries don't yeah. they, like, poo them out and you know so the, it's just dung on a branch i think yeah. i heard somewhere about the white berries as well being the, the virgin mary's milk they look like white right. berries so that was to do with blood the don't eat them yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, uh, silent night is the most recorded christmas song there's more than 733 so songs. how did it become related with one i mean christian isn't necessarily you know religion isn't necessarily no. needed to be around at the end of a year yeah. but I, ca- I can understand people celebrating the end of one year and looking forward yeah. to a new year and i think yeah. we should well, do that. jesus probably was born in spring well, yeah. Was, hang, yeah. on, hang on now you've so, got me onto that they, i know sorry but so but they just had to pick a date for jesus's birthday yeah because and, the calendars but, would have but both of you the yeah. both of you now are trying to justify religion why no just oh. because isn't christmas a religious holiday 
No, religion. No, I don't know what Christ. Well, I don't know what religion. Christ no. mass, the you know, mass of Christ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but before right, that, what we're talking about is the end of what I can't have that on there. Can you reach that and get it? I'm off? not touching that. Man. What is it? A worm. A worm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, Julie Hartley Brewer will be furious. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't actually understand why every time people mention the the word, uh, you know, the end of the year, Christmas, Christmas. That's to do with a religion, the yeah. Cross, yeah. And then all the other religions apparently have a, a hand in that. You, you come to a certain amount of time. Mm. Who actually decided how long a year was? Well, they changed the it, way. didn't it? December used to be the yeah. 10th month. And it, it was it started in, like, February or March or something, yeah, and they changed it around. Yeah, it's going to the old uh, calendar, isn't it? Yeah, the Gregorian, oh, yeah. Gregorian something or other, yeah. It's the Gregorian one that changed, yeah. yeah. And apparently, yeah. In, uh, you know, I know very little about religion because I'm not interested, but apparently there are a number of um, uh, bits of, of the religious book of the Bible missing in the same with the... Did you uh, learn that at Sunday school? When you no, were, I don't know where I learned it from. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. It fits an agenda, doesn't it? It, it fits does. an yeah. agenda, yeah. the Bible, yeah. yeah. It had a job. It made sure we all behaved ourselves. Oh, now Frosty the Snowflake wants to come in and tell us off for something oh, we've done. No. Well, well, Frosty, can you get a bit closer to the what microphone? What is it, Frosty? What have we done now? What is it? Frosty the Snowflake. What's Maybe it? it's cold outside is a disgraceful song, okay? Boo oh, hiss. oh Frosty. Away. Sod off outside, yeah, and you off. are not coming on this program again because this yeah. is not a show designed for idiots like yeah. you. And tell okay? your mates at Brighton University as well. Yeah. Stop That's being it. so fragile. You, yes. are, a, you <laughs> are a straight white male. <laughs> who said I'm straight? Who said I'm white? And who said I identify as a male? Good point. Yeah, Frosty. Well, you know, you, You're not so woke now, are you, Frosty, assuming no. things like that? I yeah, mean, that yeah. was a big assumption, that, Frosty. Yeah, now uh, you've... Uh, I hang on. I, my, You're white as well, Frosty. Yeah. No, he's not white. No, he's I gammon. A, 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 a snowman. And you've appropriated no, a carrot as a nose, which yeah. is a carrot. Yeah. 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 That is disgusting. Like that. No, that's not yeah. fair. That is Danielle disgusting. Danielle finds offensive. Your phallic nose. <laughs> yeah. Boom. That is really, <laughs> really <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Get out. Yeah. yeah. Get out. I mean, get out, Frosty. Get out, Frosty. <laughs> Snowflake. Get out, Frosty. Oh no, we've upset you. You've upset all of us. I'm sorry, Frosty. Out. Oh, oh, Frosty just banged his head on oh the camera. <laughs> I hope he's all right. I hope that was his heady. I hope he's not all right. That could be a claim. That could be yeah. a claim. Oh, well, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My gosh. Oh anyway, uh, so who knew that this celebration at the end of the year could have so many reasons for being? Anybody? I've become very emotional. You know, I'm not, not terribly well at the moment. And uh, they're showing a lot of TV uh, commercials mm. for badly treated donkeys. Yes. I'm absolutely serious about this. I know. And parts of the world where donkeys, and I'm, I'm trying not to think about it now, and as soon as I see these, I begin to cry. Are you an animal lover then? Oh, prefer animals. Uh, yeah. Sort of yeah. Uh. If, I, if I knew how to communicate, yeah. I'd be doing a well, show purely... <laughs> Would not like that. No, but you don't, don't know what you're no. saying, now, do you? You no. can be offended. Animals are lovely. Yeah, I, I do yeah, love animals yeah. a lot. Apart from and lions, if they're coming. Well, out. yeah, lions might be a bit. And I do out. think if uh, if anybody has any chance of helping out their animal yeah. uh, rescue centre, whether Definitely. for dogs, cats. But when I've been abroad, dogs, you see yeah. uh, donkeys pulling, and you can see their ribs. Some countries really treat you. Never see that awful, here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we look after our there. animals, we don't do. we? Yeah. Some, some yeah. Yeah. We're known as an animal loving country. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get the stories, though, don't you? Yeah. Um, so where are we now? Uh, if, if I could ask anybody in the running order of this Christmas Grumpy special, because I'm completely lost. Well, right now we have a surprise uh, for you, James. You've got a surprise oh. for me. Oh! So if you click your fingers, something special will happen. If you touch me, <laughs> there will... just click your fingers and see what happens. Santa baby, just slip the saber under the tree for me. I've been an awful good girl, Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. I will, if you don't mind. <laughs> Santa baby, Santa baby, a 54, a 54 convertible, convertible to light, light blue. blue. I'll have one of them. I'll wait up for you, dear, dear Santa, Santa baby, <laughs> so hurry down the chimney tonight. <laughs> Well, that was the yeah, end. Right. That was different. Oh, wow. Was I, was very, uh, I, 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 Richard, Richard. Uh, we'll take a break. Back right after this. Uh, oh, dear. Not this again. No, 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 please. 
please, I've had enough of this, okay? There's nothing worse than everybody wanting to have a Christmas number one. So if you if you love me and you are an amazing fan of my show and me, go out and buy that song and you will upset me more you get PRS than you have money. any oh, idea. Shh. I well, thought, I bought the rights to I it. Thought, I get the PRS I, I money. I thought if I said that, yeah, they'd all go out okay, and they'd yeah, all yeah, yeah. say that. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, right. Welcome back. Uh, Ross Lee, the most amazing comedian there ever has been. And musician. Yeah. And musician yeah. is uh, with us in the studio. Ross. Uh, Come on, Ross. Ooh, I'm shy. He's I'm, he's probably the top musician and comedian. An actor as well. An of actor course. Uh, there is in the country. Some people would like to cancel him. I cannot imagine why. So Everybody wants to cancel me. Threat, Ross? Well the thing is, once I get my plasticine out, that's no, when no, they get no. jealous. Like threat then. Don't do that. Okay. Don't. Yeah. But you you have um I'm told done some some stuff for us, uh, which is including uh bringing back what uh, is this tea and biscuits? What is this? Yeah, bring it back, man. Bring back tea and biscuits. Well, what, what this what is... has arranged a song for you? This is oh, a, you've arranged a song for me. What this is, it's 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 a message for you, James, yeah. for you, Ash, for you, my darling. It's a message for everyone, and it's all basically, it's about something that we've got to remember. It's the main core of Christmas. Yeah. It's what Christmas is all about, and right. I'm just going to remind you, I'm going to, going to stick it into your heads now, Yeah. what Christmas That's is all about. Don't make it about religion, you'll go sick no. again. Yeah. Uh, you you feel free to hold Just hold your ear pieces. He's got because, weird ear holes. So yeah, he has to hold them in. Very tiny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Just, good. That feels nice. Well, put Ooh. your finger on it. It's it not might meant to slip feel out. Nice. Just, you know, keep put your finger on. You're doing it. The you wrong remember way. all those guys in the eighties? Yes. You hold a wet, a yeah. wet yeah. Willy. And do you, <laughs> do, you, do you know what? <laughs> Isn't it when you lick your finger and stick it into? That's his plasticine. Do you know what I've noticed as well? If you push oh. push your eyes in like that, really hard, you've got oh, yeah. a, fi- a firework display going off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cheap, cheaper than buy fireworks. Mm. Oh, that's it's good nice. stuff, isn't it? Yeah. If you're a young person, please do not try this at home. Do it in the workplace. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Excuse yeah. me. Right. Let's Hugh Ross. Thank you. So, which camera? That one. Anyone. <laughs> Listen, la- shut up! Listen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's not all about Father Christmas. It's not all about Rudolph. It's not all about Top of the Pops too. It's not all about stockings. It's not all about digestives. It's not all about that thing on top of your roof that keeps strobing. It's it's not about Ross Abbott. It's not about it's not about new cars or oculus quests it's not about the grumble weeds it's not about mother shipton it's not about pant pantomimes it's not all about presents it's not all about turkey it's not all about gravy it's not all about the queen mother it's not all about going to bed early and thinking oh have i been good this year not at all It's not all about sprouts. It's not all about churches. It's not all about driveways that they shovel in from the... Do you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. What is it? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes there's only one thing that will do. Don't you know it? Put the kettle on and make yourself a brew. Make it nice and sweet for me I have a sweet tooth, don't you know it? Anybody fancy? Cup of tea and biscuits Cup of tea and And biscuits Cup of tea and biscuits Cup of tea and biscuits It's a nice Squeeze your bags real hard if you want to make it stronger Squeeze those baggies. Stick it in a thermos <laughs> flask to make it last longer. No, it's always good to last longer, longer, longer anyway. Longer, There's longer, only longer, one longer, thing longer. that I need today. Yeah. Don't you know it? And that's to dunk my eyes and dunk away. A cup of tea and biscuits. A cup, cup of, of tea and biscuits. Or mince pies. That's what it's all about. Oh, me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a good message, actually. Yeah, a good message. Yeah. You can use any biscuit. You don't even have to I use a biscuit. Like I, I felt that song no. in my soul. Yeah. 
Thank I'm you. A, I'm a, you were into it, weren't I, you? I, 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 like that song, yeah. I was hoping you'd do Santa that. Baby, but if there is ever going to be a number one Come on, Voss, Christmas do Santa song, Baby. Would you like me to do Santa Baby? Yeah. Yeah. Would you do Santa Baby? Have yeah. you got the words there? We've well, got the words. Can you do it as Alice Cooper? I can do it, I can do it a cappella for you. Can you do it as Alice We've Cooper? We've got the backing track. Uh, I'll, I'll, I shall do it as Pinocchio and then Alice Cooper. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Here okay. we go. Okay. Set. Oh, we've Hang got on, the music got an as well. Intro. Wait for the bar. I need the second bar because I got that wrong first time. Okay, here we go. Santa baby, can I have a look at your bum? Santa baby, come on, let's have some fun. Santa baby, let's cut off our eyelids tonight. Was that the Santa baby, I gotta get out of here. Santa baby, I gotta get out of here. Santa baby, I'm coming, coming, coming down my chimney tonight. Oh, you come in there. He is scary. That was a beauty, that was. That yeah. was Ross, the best I've, I've heard and seen all day. <laughs> was that all right? That was brilliant. Because I'll, I'll be oh. honest, I'll be honest, you know, like I've led a very strange life and everywhere I, I go, see. everywhere I go, I'm thinking any minute now, you're all three of you are going to chop me up. No, no, no. We Not will. any minute now. No, no probably no. an hour or so. It'll take a little yeah. longer than that. Once we've done the I mean, show. Oh, that's fine then. I was, yeah, yeah. I was concerned, was that, was that Pinocchio or Alice Cooper? It was both, wasn't it? It was a little bit of both. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, similar characters. Yeah, very good. No, and, and also tribute to the gorgeous Ruth Maddock, who we've just yeah. lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heidi, yeah. 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 hi. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Do you and know, so, no. we don't do comedy like that anymore, do we? No. Well, it's, I suppose it's a different time for us. And no, it's crap yeah. comedy now. Yeah. I don't even know if you can say comedy and crap in the no. same uh, no. the same you sentence. Crap it in. Oh, Frosted as Snowflakes got oh, a problem no. again. What, what now? What is it, Frosted? What is wrong now? Well, have it happened, James? I'd come a bit closer to my thigh if I were you, because nobody Don't is going Don't fall for that. that trick, Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like last time. Um, oh, what? <laughs> it turns out Santa Baby is actually offensive. Is it? Yes. Why? Because yeah. it treats uh, Santa, a man, a straight white man, uh, oh, as a sugar true. daddy. Right, I could see that. But point. why? Is that why, a problem? Why would that yeah, be a problem? Yeah, why is that a problem? Well, it's, it perpetuates male stereotypes that they are the ones with all the money and that women are subservient. Yeah, but that isn't true, is it? Well, no. It is where I come from. Which is why the song does James, damage got a problem. to society. Hang on, hold on, hold on. Director's talking to me. Yes. Uh, Fosty's friend, Rory, we can see him on the floor. We just need to hide Fosty's friend. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, Frosty's friend, we can see you on the floor. Can we hide you a bit? Yeah. Why have you got your hand stuck up his jacksie? What? Stop. We don't talk about that. No. <laughs> we don't. Thank you very much. I've got another song for you, yes. Yeah. If yep. it's anywhere half as good as that one, I will be in tears. It's about 500 times better. Really? James. What's it called? I uh, can't remember. Okay. Can't make it up as I go along. Oh, fine. No. <laughs> well, in that case, so, let's hear it. Are we going for it now? Yeah, oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a bit more like 80s, isn't it? Are you ready? It's like flash Oh, look, she gets excited. Uh -uh. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Can you move back some slightly from. Thank you. Socks. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a selection box. It rhymes. Inside the box were a whole array of wonderful surprises. Chocolate bars of different colours and all different sizes. There was the one that looks a little bit like a Malteser. But it's not a Malteser. Oh, no. There was a one that what looked a little bit like... What's the one that sounds like Coronation Street, but it's not Coronation Street? There was Galaxy and there was Twix. There were far too many smarties for me to transfix, so I just pulled them apart. I stuck them in my ears. I said, hey, come here. Let's have some cheers. <laughs> have you had my M&M's? Someone call security. I promise I've not had my M&M's. Are you sure? Have you had?
get security. Oh dear, that 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 <laughs> did that did shock me quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, what was I'm, the I'm chocolate bar that sounded like Coronation Street? Quality Street. Oh. Do you not remember that? Oh. We've got some Quality Streets. No, we haven't. Yeah. No, no, they've banned them all. Oh, have they? Haven't no. they? Yeah. yeah. I think sorry. they've banned them all. Some, yeah, because they're yeah. Uh, culturally appropriate. Oh. So I want to ask a sensible, serious question, actually. If, really? Uh, nobody... Okay. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, look at this. They've dumbed down. They used to be in a big tin. Now they're in a crappy plastic look at, box. Look at that. That was a whole... That's all you get now. Look how thin the box is. No, the the is still a purple one in there. Yeah, yeah. Are they rare? Why? They're the nicest, the yes. Oh, the, hang, hang on. Ooh, if it's thank rare. Thank you. This is the nice one with the mm. nuts in the middle. Don't have it if you've got no allergies. No. Oh, this is mm. the one. Oh. I like the little, little one of them left. Mars bar, tiny little things that look like rabbit dungs. Yeah. Well, they are rabbit dung, though. Mm. Lovely. Merry Christmas. Um, Merry while Christmas we're uh, celebrating with the Christmas... Um, Christmas box that apparently is Chocolate. very offensive because of some of the chocolates in there. Uh, more Christmas facts? Mm, the biggest ever Christmas gift. I'm now talking with a mouthful. Do you know what it was? The well, Christmas there was the guy tree. that gave his Hang adopted on. kid a four million pound house or something tonight. Or the Christmas tree in Trafalgar Square. It was actually the Statue of Liberty. She no. was a Christmas gift. Didn't yeah. we give France. that to America? France. France don't. to America, yeah. Mm. Um, but she, she was promised at Christmas. I don't think she actually got there at Christmas. Because I imagine it's a pretty difficult gift to... Uh, There's one in France as well, a smaller one. Transport, is there? Yeah. It's made of metal. Did you know that it's made of metal? What, the Statue of Liberty? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know that it's not as big as it looks, like the sun. The sun's not as big as it looks and it's a lot closer. The sun's only about the size The sun is only about 40... The sun is The sun is only about 40 feet wide. Yeah, it's about the size of Manchester. Yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's closer to us than it's the moon. It's only about 200 yards away. Sorry, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Are you talking rubbish? I know. The sun, no, the the sun is... Not as big as it looks. No. no. It's closer to us than Manchester. Yeah. yeah. I know. They've been having you on for ages. <laughs> yeah. It's the things. Manchester. The things. Do you know that Christmas was once banned? Not so It was illegal to celebrate Christmas in England yeah. and in America. Why? Apparently in 1644 because they said that people weren't... You'll love this. Yeah, go on. <laughs> they said it's because people weren't taking it seriously as uh, a religious really? holiday. Really? Really? <laughs> How appalling is You're that? You're going to get Christmas banned for us. No. <laughs> We've well, got to have a knees up at the end of one year and, and uh Well, that's New Year's Eve, isn't it? It was yeah. banned for 20 years, I think, in America. Wow. Is that to do yeah. with Oliver Cromwell in Britain, is it? is it? But it wasn't really banned, was it? People still went out. And had a... Well, you didn't have trees. You didn't have, you know, TV adverts. But, so yeah. there wasn't really much to celebrate anyway. You didn't have John Lewis and no. all that. No. So there was nothing to do anyway. Uh, yeah. Am I correct in saying, though, you know, we, do we get the tree that we get in Trafalgar Square? Mm. Yeah, that's from is, Norway. That's from it? Norway. Yeah. Did they give us a rubbish one this year? They did a like, few years. They've been is giving us right? rubbish ones, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> did they? Rubbish. No, I don't think. Just because my mum said I was doing my faxes, she went, you know, they give us a rubbish one. Because of Brexit. <laughs> we don't get the right tree anymore because of Brexit. <laughs> but you know, we always used to talk about that. Nobody talks about it in the news anymore. Nobody has actually said, um, what do you think of the... Christmas oh, tree in Trafalgar. No one Maybe no one it. talks about it. Just look at the like, size don't mention. of that snowflake just went past. <laughs> Do you see the size of that snowflake? <laughs> that was massive. Um, uh, oh, Santa. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there he is. He is. Oh, Santa. Hi, Santa, baby. Look at that. Oh, He'll have oh, delivered yeah. most of his presents by yeah. now. And what, we did stop him before, sack. didn't we? He will. Yeah, <laughs> we have to. Why do you always have to do that? What do you mean? What? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, so always in a stocking. When I was oh, a kid, gosh. how many most people actually uh, had a pillowcase rather than a stocking? Mm -hmm. I, I, we was, we must have been spoiled because we did have a big chair full yeah. of toys. Yeah. It was all crap from the market. But, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how much oh. could you get in a in a stocking? <laughs> not much. No, not. And it you used couldn't... to one of your dad's socks anyway. Yeah, well, we'd start off with a dad's sock. We'd have a dad's sock, and you know what? The best thing was, James. I'd wake up in the middle of the night, and you'd hear that. You know that yeah. of the wrapping paper. Your, your foot would touch the sock. <laughs> Yeah. And I, my God, I need diarrhea now. Oh, <laughs> it's got me it's, so excited. It's given me that, that right? Yeah. <laughs> oh God, just I, that noise. I'm Could just I hoping just it brings me that convertible. Apologise mm. for the language. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah no, that convertible. You need oh, a big God. stocking. No. The light blue one. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is she talking about Mike Graham? <laughs> 
No, that is isn't convertible. Oh, right. This has got okay. the, uh, the yeah. top on it. Anyway, yeah. um, so, sorry, where were we? Uh, legend has it that Candy Canes, mm. this is going to sound a little bit oh, yeah, creepy, candy canes. Uh, but Candy Canes uh, originated because a choir <laughs> master used to give little sticks of candy to... <laughs> Mm, I bet to you the did, choir, yeah. I know. Mm. I just thought that as I said it. Little sticks of candy to the choir to keep them quiet, and that. But what were they going to say? When they were in church, and it was very boring. I imagine, <laughs> in between the singing, um, <laughs> and they reckon that the the hook is either representing the shepherd's hook, or it's to hook it on a tree. I think it's to hook it on a tree. I think. So it had absolutely nothing to do with shepherding in the Middle East. No, I don't think no. so. It, it was to do with choir boys being bored in the Christmas service. Right, and keeping think, their mouths shut. Yeah, about and what goes on outside. And keeping the, the mouths full as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Isn't it amazing how all this came to be a celebration <laughs> that religion wanted to be associated with? Mm, that terrible, is, terrible. That is amazing. I mean, why why don't those religions that apparently get so um, <clears throat> so offended by everything? Why don't they say, "Well, this is our religious message," instead of they all nick a bit of each one and yeah, I mean, mix what, it what, together? What are, what are baubles for? Are they just decoration? Or it's all it? just about decorating the tree. Did oh. you know the original Christmas pudding though had no. meat in it? Yeah, mince meat was originally proper yeah. mince meat. That sounds minging. Yeah, well, it's it a like mince pie, porridge, isn't it? Porridgey minging. Porridgey taste, yeah. They used yeah. to put fruit in with the meat, didn't they? But hang, hang on, hang on. I want to go back <clears> a bit because, and I'm not being <clears> detrimental <throat> to any part of the world, really, but why has it all emanated out of the Middle East, all very hot and sandy? Mm. And point, every time yeah. you see one of these cards, yeah, it's yeah. all cold and it's snowy. Good point. Jesus wouldn't have known about snow. I reckon I mean, that is a combination of the pagan festival that they kind of joined it up with. Yeah, you're Because right. it kind of co- 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 Well, they just nicked that. it, didn't they, the tree? And everything. It's all pagan. It came from Germany, though, yeah. didn't it? I mean, that's where... It... In but Germany, like... they celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. Yeah, I know, I believe that. Yeah, it's true. The, yeah. And, and some people, there's some countries that celebrate it in January. I mean, that's 7th crazy. of January. I, don't, I can't remember that's where that was, crazy. but I read that. There's a lady that used to live over the road from me and she left her Christmas tree up all year round. Andre and we, and we always that, used to say, lazy. yeah, cr- crazy woman, crazy woman, crazy woman. But when it gets to the 15th of December, mm. who's crazy? She's not. Yeah, the tree, she's the already up. got it, yeah. And do you know why Father Christmas is red and white because of Coca-Cola? <gasps> not yeah. true. It's not true. true. It's not, not actually true. Not true. Do you know why it really is why white, is red and white? Well, I did this little my little research. It's because of the cartoonist Thomas Nast. He was the first person who drew Santa oh. in red and white. And oh. then a, around a similar time, Coca-Cola took it on board. and that's They, what nick, they always nick their ideas. Yeah, they nick yeah. the well, this is getting so exciting, I can, uh, I can hardly um, control myself. <laughs> uh, Ross, thank you very much indeed. Thank that you. song about tea and biscuits, yeah. best thing I have heard or seen. It was your best song for that. the year, for the for, for the whole year. Of Definitely anybody. for the last half hour. Uh, we're going to take a break. We come back. Uh, Ollie London will be on, and uh, we're going to see his new Christmas video. But in the in the meantime, I'm just so blown away by that. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas. New year. God bless. We will you. take a break. Mwah. Okay, uh, right, welcome back. Uh, you're supposed to uh, clap and make a, a lot of noise. Apparently, apparently, a lot of people have saying that our cracks are not matching up. Our cracks well, are quite different, actually. But, but because let's right talk about front, that later. Let's, on the front of the, the apparently, there's a, a crack up the front of your hat. And, uh, Mine's at the be, back, my crack. Is it? Yeah. Well, it shouldn't. Well, it should, it be. should be twisted. Right. No, it's there. It's at the front. It's at the okay. front. Is yeah. it supposed to be at the front? No, is it yeah, seem not supposed to be at the back? No, you're right. Yeah. Well, I, I figured it should be where it is. Uh, anyway, welcome back to uh, James Wells' cranky Christmas. Um, and I've complained. Starring about, Ash. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> and uh, and we're not against Christmas as long as it doesn't we have just all hate this, it. Well, we're not. No, we're we're quite fond of the one no, with the cheerful. It, yeah guy with a big bushy beard and, yeah. you know all of that I wonder where is, he is this time I don't know I don't know I was hoping to get the uh, the best ever uh, mm. interview with him at James, all James I've got a surprise for what, you what have you got what have you got what is it well he's come down your chimney oh <gasps> my gosh oh it's the real <gasps> yeah oh my god here he is Merry Christmas Merry Christmas James Merry Christmas Ash Merry Christmas oh my god oh Tira I am so beside myself, I, I don't well, know. No, how. no, you're definitely beside Ash. Well, uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> you must be knackered, Father Christmas. <laughs> oh, no, no, the reindeer are exhausted, though. Well, They're up on the roof having a little sleep. Do you know, he's, there's something familiar about him as well. 
We'll come no, back to that later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so you are the real Santa. Uh, indeed I am. Indeed yes. I am, James. Yes. What a great voice. He's almost got a theatrical voice. He actually, you know, I know who you are. You're Boris Johnson. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I just, well, stay tuned. You sound like that. <laughs> yeah, could well be. It's his new could, job. Could well be. He's Santa. Uh, yes. Well, I'd have been to enough parties then, wouldn't I? <laughs> And I and, and no reason why you shouldn't, in our view, is there? You go to as many as you Naughty like. Naughty Santa. Yeah. So this time, how did you get the time to come and see us? Well, you see, James, James there's, a, there's still a little bit of time left before Christmas. And so I thought, well, who would I like to visit? And I thought, who's dressed in exactly the right costume in order for me to see? And there you are. Oh, and Rudolph gosh. pointed you out. We and landed on the roof, skittled our way down, and here we are. Oh, well, that was that great. Is the biggest sign of flattery, Santa. It certainly is. Yes, that's what I said to my twin. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I was going on. Well, I bought a really nice uh, jacket and uh, yeah, yeah. shirt and everything to put on for the, the Christmas show, and I haven't got to change into it yet. And they kept on coming up with silly reasons. Now I know why. Yes. Oh. Yeah, you know, even with the hat and the crack in the back. You, 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 you look marvellous <laughs> with the your front. Yeah. yeah. You, you look marvellous with Thank your crack. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Crack. Now, yes. listen, um, what about a, a, a Santa Claus is coming to town? What about a quick rendition of that? Not watch, watch out. out. You, you better, better not cry. cry. You better, better not pout. pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming, coming to town. town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a list. I'm He's getting well dressed. He's going to find out who's naughty or nice. On the steps. Santa, Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. I he know knows when you're awake. Yes, he does. I he know knows. if you've been bad or good, <laughs> so be good for the goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Christmas is always hard to work. <laughs> <laughs> would you listen? Would you like to borrow her for Christmas? I apologise about that. <laughs> that must be the worst rendition of a song <laughs> I think I have ever delivered. He enjoyed it. Oh, he yeah. enjoyed it. Yes. And Santa, I, Santa I, I, can I, sing. I, 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 I heard him. the old chorus. Trust me. Yeah. Have you? Yes. <laughs> I mean, honestly, and there's a, the director saying two beats in. What the friggin' hell is a beet? <laughs> I've no idea. He's got no idea what a beet you know, is. You it's a small kind hear. of vegetable. Oh right, yes, oh, yeah. <laughs> purple in colour. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that that's um, why do we have all this stuff for Christmas? What about the crackers? Where do they come? It's from? commercial, isn't it? It's commercial. Oh, well, have you pulled crackers? Well, you, it's all been commercialised. What do you think about the commercialisation of Christmas, Santa? I don't think there's enough of it. No, no. I think there needs to be more. I think you're that. right. Absolutely. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Christmas has always been a celebration of giving you yeah. gifts. Exactly. Yeah. It's yes. all about the money, honey, isn't it, at Christmas? Well, that's we, what it's we, about. That's, that, that's where we live, isn't it? Exactly. Yes. It's the day and age. <laughs> but didn't, <laughs> didn't I wish Christmas... it could be Christmas every day. <laughs> <laughs> we should write a song about that. <laughs> yes. Didn't Christmas Should've actually been. come about, though, by people wanting to promote what they were doing at the time, whether it was religion or something else. Yeah, yeah. They wanted to promote like Valentine's what it was. Day. It's probably the Americans. Well, the, the beginning of Christmas stems from um, from, uh, from from when I was, of course, Saint Nicholas yeah. in 250 AD in Asia You've Minor. You've really let yourself or go since then, haven't you? I moisturised. Trust <laughs> me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, in 250 AD, um, and uh, and uh, in Asia Minor, also known as Turkey, because yeah. of course you can't have Christmas. Without Turkey. <laughs> so, hang on, hang on. Is that how, is that how Turkey became part That's of Christmas? Good point, yeah. I have no idea. You know, I, never, I, know, I never got to ask a turkey. <laughs> well, I don't Apparently think I would if I were you. people do have ham at Christmas and it's mm. almost overtook turkey for a Christmas dinner. God. Oh, God. Like turkey, the pigs and blankets. I will not. We have ham. Well, a goose is what people used to have, didn't they? It used to like a good oh, goose. Oh, did they? Well, apparently, I mean, you won't have you won't have pigs in pigs in blankets. Not well. That's the tastiest bit of a Christmas dinner. Yeah, tigs. Pigs. My in, husband would agree with you on that. Pigs in blankets and sprouts. I love. I love sprouts. sprouts. Oh, everybody oh. goes on and on. I wonder on where the sprouts oh, come from. Where did yeah. the sprouts come Fried. from? Brussels. Brussels. Yeah, no, he's right. He's bang on. Well, yeah, he knows do everything. Do but eat he would Christmas do Christmas dinner. Pardon? Well, as I call it, lunch. 
lunch. Yes, yes. <laughs> but um, but uh, by the time by the time I get to the to the end of a of a of a, of a, of a hard day's night delivering presents, of course, I like to put my feet up yeah. and, uh, and 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 tuck into maybe a, a little chestnut soup. Oh, yes, yes. Ooh, to begin posh? with, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you don't get this accent by being common. <laughs> no, and. Um, <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, uh, yeah. and, and then a pair of teeth, and then the rest of the set, and um, <laughs> and then uh, then then of course um, I, I I like to just tuck into to a little bit little bit of everything, but sprouts sprouts with chestnuts are very nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. yes, yes, yeah. fried up there. But what do you do in the rest of the year? Because we just had Mister Christmas who does Christmas every day. What do you do? Yeah, but he's hang on. Can I, I can I, see? Oh, this, I, it's, it's it's like decoration. It's all about the preparation. Yeah, but oh, hang, yeah. hang on. Can I just yeah. say he he's just doing it as a joke. Really? Well, this guy does it. No, for no, the... no. He's the real. Santa. Well, I know. And Glastonbury, no, they no, have to start a... Glastonbury the year before. So I suppose you're planning for next Christmas. Well, yes, already, and of course there are, there are there are all my, my assistants to train, courtesy of yeah. The, uh, yeah. the the wonderful Ministry of Fun. You and see, now who, all uh, those little elves that you have to send the teeny out tiny the elves on the shelf. Yes, the shelf, the shelfing elves. Yes, yes. yes you've got oh, yeah, all we have a Santa school as yeah. well. Do they cause mischief when they're in the North Pole? Oh, constantly. That's why we're sending them out all the time. Yes, yes. If I really get anything done for the first three months of the year. Yeah, you can because have I was, back. I was concerned about that. How do you get everything done on this one day? And does it have to be one day? It has to be one day, James. It has to be one day. Otherwise, some child is going to be disappointed. Mm. They don't want to wake up on Christmas morning with mm. a little note to say, I'll see you Boxing Day, kid. No, <laughs> no, no, indeed. Well, it's no. all about preparation. It's like when people, big stars say, yeah, it was an overnight success. It took me 20 years to become yeah. a... It's all about your preparation. 250 AD, that's when I started. Mm. Yes, you see. Two, and So you actually are one of those beings, because I believe in all of this. Um, we don't know how many beings that there are who look exactly, we all look the same. Some of us die, some of us don't. Some of us just live forever. Mm. So, And you even remember the existences you've had. Well, yes. Yes, of course. Yes, it goes on and on and on in a constant cycle. It's It's been stolen by the Doctor Who people, of course. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but, but, uh, but in many ways, you see, for example, um, in the, uh, it wasn't until, until the late 19th century, of course, um, that I that I changed costume. Yeah. You see? Because it used I'm, to be blue and white. Green. Uh, green. Oh, green. Green and white, yeah, yes. Green. Very much, very much a, a creature of the earth. Well, how the did that change? Because people said it was Coca Cola, but now we've heard from Danielle it wasn't. No, no, not at all, not at all. No, no, no. Coca Cola was in the 1930s, right. and they just happened to have exactly the same red. Yeah, exactly. But um, but you'll, you'll find it was probably the Americans, yeah, as, would as be, I recall, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, who, who changed a lot of uh, 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 Santa law. For example, they introduced the uh, the notion of the reindeer. I thought that's a good idea. So oh, I, um, yeah. so I, so, yes, the caribou who are um, I'm just doing antlers. You see. Uh, not not going near in there. Um, yes. So who gave you a tug before the the reindeer? I beg your pardon. Yeah, <laughs> that's very rude. No, you gave know, him pulled, a tug well, before you know, the reindeer. Tug pulled your thing, your sledge. Yeah, Mrs. My, Mrs. Claus. No. Anyway, listen, um, we're going to run out of time, and oh, I want oh, to thank. Oh, well, I can hear uh, some hoof on the roof. I, <laughs> I I want to thank you so much for coming Bless on you. the show and talking about stuff. Maybe next year, if we're all around, and who knows who will and who won't be. I mean, maybe we can talk about it again. Uh, mm. As, as mm. then, where where is um, the being that is Santa Claus who's been here for thousands of years? Well, I'd like to see him back as prime yeah. minister again. I mean, it was yeah. cruel how they pushed <laughs> yeah. him out. I do. Uh, um, I, I do make exceedingly good cakes. Yes, <laughs> you've got beautiful blue eyes, Santa. As you well. have Thank you, sir. Yeah. They're, yes. they're both my own. Oh, are they? That's yes. yep. really. <laughs> um, I got right. Buy one, get guys, one free. Guys, guys. Okay, little time problem. <laughs> um, Ollie London, um, who of course is the uh, Korean influencer or was, who is uh, going from one trans Korean, former trans Korean yeah, yeah. influencer, uh, has got a, a Christmas record out too. We've got them all on the show tonight. Yeah. Uh, so when we come back, we'll come back into part of his Christmas song. In the meantime, Santa, it's so I've Merry been so Christmas. Exciting. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Merry so Christmas much. to you all. Thank have you. a marvelous Christmas. Santa, can I have a, a selfie? An elfie, yes, oh. indeed. <laughs> Oh, yes. no, oh no, no, not more of the Whaley rap, please. I've had enough of the Whaley rap. Oh, gosh, I'm knackered. Thank you very much indeed to Santa Claus. Uh, he's gone because he thought when we started talking about um, uh, the former Prime Minister, uh, he began to get very worried, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I think it yeah. might be him, yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're not sure whether that may have been... Uh, the mistake. I keep looking up. It's quite funny. I keep looking up here, and all I see is huge snowflakes going behind me, yeah, and yeah. it's quite confusing. Uh, yeah. <coughs> oh, that's so, all right. <clears throat> just the excitement yeah, of it's being very exciting doing time a, of year, isn't it? a sort it of is. uh, a really Christmas is. show when I've hated Christmas for so long. And now you love it. And now I, I just, I just love it. Cranky Christmas 
is the new end of year uh, show. Uh, Ollie London joins us, everybody. Yay! Give him a nice round of applause, Ollie London. Hey former former trans uh, Korean, now going back from now an elf. Hang on, don't be the house. Oh, Korean woman. Now you're going back the other way to being a. Well, I'm an elf now, but um, uh, yeah. back to being me. Back to being you. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, we like you. Um, how how have you felt? Uh, they they did give me loads of questions to ask you. This wasn't one. Um, how did you uh, how did you feel heading towards being a woman? Did you feel that they were everybody was taking the mick out of you, and then you decided you wanted to come back or what? Yeah, I just really was so unhappy, and um, I thought that was a solution to my problems. I thought you know maybe putting on a dress, having hair extensions, having some facial surgery would make me happy, and I realised that was actually very silly, mm. a little bit crazy, um, and it didn't fulfil me at all. So, you know, thankfully, I found myself, I'm now back to being me. I'm even growing a beard. It's not quite as good yeah. as yours, James or Ash, but um, I'm trying to grow it's a beard. There, yeah. yeah. It's uh -huh. taken a few weeks, but you, I'm getting you're there. You're rocking it. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. The, Thanks, only, yeah. the only problem with growing a beard, you do need to cut it off over and over again to, to get it to well, grow I've back. I've got a spare yeah. one here, look. Oh, you yeah. have to oh, keep getting rid of it then, to then, get yeah. it to grow thicker. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. And... and Sorry. This is my merkin, but you can use it on your face. Should I try it off? Smell too bad. Guys... What? Do you know what a merkin is? I actually don't. You might no. have to explain that one. Okay. Oh, right. Well, would you like to explain what a merkin <laughs> well, yeah, is? In the so old days, Ash. when you got a bit of syphilis, you go, oh, no, but it, don't worry, because you could put this on you as a pubic wig and it would cover all the, uh, you know, pustules. Mm. And you get back down to business. <laughs> Do you know as that? A, as a Victorian prostitute. Pubic oh. wig, yeah. So, I'll give that one a miss then. I, I, think, I think all the pustules forget. Yeah. But this used this used to well you can with one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see you just stood naked with that on you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this this was a, a fashion thing in those days, mm. uh, and it's basically a pubic wig. I'd never heard yeah. of it before. Yeah, of course you had. Many years ago, when yeah. we were doing a program <laughs> on audit. Okay, wish I hadn't gone quite that far. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you're back, and we've got a bit of your uh, you you've been doing a new album. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the album. So, yeah, I've just released a new Christmas song, um, Christmas Bells of Korea. I've done an acoustic version. It's just a very feel-good song. It's fun. Um, and I've done a dance version as well. And I'm releasing my final album in January. And then I'm going to retire from music and focus on mm. more pressing issues okay. like politics and activism. Right. Yeah, man. Um, before we do that, and mm. I want to get straight onto that as soon as we've done it, uh, let's have a look at this album and a little bit of a mm. promotion for it. I make no, absolutely no apologies for being uh, just an advertising vehicle for your new album. Oh, well, I, I apologise for it. <laughs> Christmas bells are ringing. I can hear them singing. And it sounds so crystal clear. No wishing be, because you are here. Christmas bells. Well, there we are. I thought that was amazing. Didn't that was you? fantastic, actually. I, I have my never mind about that. Yeah, yeah uh, nearly, Brilliant. nearly as good. Well, it's, it's difficult to, uh, whether um, the, the you know digestive biscuits and well, dark tea chocolate for digestive biscuits. You know, the tea for two that biscuits. Ross Lee did earlier. Tea and biscuits, um, I thought yeah. that that was good too. That's so good. I think we're, this is the only place to see uh, the to best see songs, the best, best songs Christmas of Christmas, songs, apart from the Wow now, Christmas song. It, yeah. Can we not yeah. talk about that? It's an well, they embarrassment. They playing it. Sticking yeah, around. yeah. It, 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 it really is one of those that, have you heard it? I actually I haven't, but no, I'll give it a listen after. No, yeah. you don't. Should do you a really, cover. 
Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> I, 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 sort of, I sat there singing it once in about 40 years ago in a studio. Chuck's brought it back. And Chuck has mm. found it and, and yeah. sticks it on whenever he can, which is annoying. He's good um, at finding things, Chuck, isn't he? Mm, very good. Man. Before, before we do anything else, I want to get out of the way this whole business mm. about why you would actually uh, re- record a song for Korea. Because Korea is probably... It doesn't really have a religion that anybody knows about. Mm. So why? I think that's a good thing, by the way. I think that's really funny. Yeah. You know, again, it's... Obviously, I'm back to being me, but I still love Korea. So I always like to give a gift every Christmas. I always do a Korean Christmas song. And the Korean people seem to love it. People on TikTok seem to love it. And I just think, you know, they don't really celebrate Christmas in the traditional sense that we do. But they still like all the decorations. Mm. They don't really do... What's the, the main religion out in Korea? Um, they're not there that is religious. Is it Buddhism? I mean, or is it, is that... They have Buddhism. They have uh, Christianity mm. as well. And they have some unusual kind of cultures. So churches. what do they do at the end of the mm. year? Oh. Um, they party. They like to party. They love drinking alcohol. It's called um, soju. They are obsessed with drinking. So they just drink and they just yeah. party a lot. So And so yeah. when you've, I mean, quite seriously, when you've brought these songs out, they have actually sold well. You are making money out of this. It is a, don't be embarrassed about it. Mm. It is a commercial thing that you do. Funnily enough, my Christmas song from two years ago, Christmas in Korea, is actually my um, highest selling song. It's had millions of streams. It's done extremely well. And and you like, get royalties from it every year, I, like I get royalties. Holder. I get, mm. you know, even in the summer, people listen to it. It's been yeah, used yeah. like 26,000 times on TikTok. You get millions, <gasps> not just thousands. No, I don't not, make millions from the music. No, no, I know, but yeah, you get yeah. millions of people Viewers. watching it. Mm. That, that mm. will, before the, uh, the revenue get excited but that yeah. w- that that does make you enough money to live on during the year yeah but i do so many other things as yeah, well no, ex- but exactly the, but. the actual christmas song is my biggest hit it's the best one and mm. it, it keeps me going i've just released a new one it hasn't quite taken off just yet but you know people seem to love my christmas songs more than anything else so. and this is a country yeah. where they're not even interested in christmas really not really they just like the decorations and they the just festivity. like you don't they 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 <laughs> find me entertaining they find me a laugh and they, they, they fi- like my music do yeah. they find you in a not i mean presumably because of what you do and how mm. well you are a big star in korea so yeah. do mm. do you ever get to meet people like the korean i don't know minister for this prime minister whatever and says i'm not very happy i nearly did i nearly did the person <laughs> yeah don't do that, that. <laughs> um do you do you do you uh do you know this is not doing uh, our uh, our image much good or not no. Or do, does Kim Jong Un ever get a hold of That's you? That's North the phone? Korea. Yeah, no. Does he ever get fo- on, on uh, hold of you on the phone and say, "Great, carry on, Ollie. We really love what you're doing." You know, I'm so sure Kim is way. a fan. I'm sure Kim's a fan. I'm sure yeah. he'd probably want me to perform. Um, you know, maybe maybe I can negotiate peace. For you a few and Janice countries. Rodman. He loves Dennis Rodman. Loves Dennis I think Rodman. he'll probably secretly be a fan of mine. He'll be singing Christmas yeah. in Definitely. Korea. But no, the Korean, I do know some government ministers and stuff, but they actually think I'm an ambassador for their country. They think it's nice that I'm always obsessed with their country, but I'm always talking about it. You know, they think, well, you why are not? Obsessed, I'm you know, an honorary Korean. Well. Yeah. But anyway, what okay. is this bloke doing here? <laughs> oh, oh, the no. snowflake. Frosted the snowflake. <laughs> what do you want now? What's gone wrong now? Well... I just wanted to say a little word about the Cambridge Dictionary. Have you, have you heard what's happened? Yeah, they've they've said a woman can be a biological man in the in the definition. Yeah, or a man can be a woman. And depends a what you want to say. Biological man. Um, on a serious note, though, um, mm. what do you think of this this whole business now? And it's get, getting to people in universities mm. where they're suddenly saying, "Oh well, you know, uh, anybody should be able to identify as anything they want." Um, and this is something, and please don't take, you know mm. I like you. Ollie. I know. Mm-hmm. Um, this is something that has disturbed a lot of people. Mm. Uh, and people have got very well, what, I don't feel like a, a man. I'm not sure if I'm gay. And, and now it's got to a situation where a crowd of people have said, oh, I'm trans, I can be anything I want, got very nasty with mm. a bunch of people that I think are probably uh, having, having serious sort of uh, sensitive issues in their heads about yeah, yeah. whether they're, Men or women. Well, I saw a load of trans activists attacking a load of lesbians in Washington uh, yesterday, mm, mm. trying to rip. That. And this is terrible because obviously they're physically stronger, and it, you know the yeah. world's going a bit mad, and they're getting violent now. I mean, it's it's become a joke. I mean, the fact that the dictionary has now changed the definition of a man and a woman is just absurd. I mean, it's so offensive mm. to to women in particular, but um, it's just become a joke. And you're right; these radical activists are very violent. I mean, I was invited to when I was in New York recently to there was a women's protest with um the lady Posey Parker, who's a feminist, and you know I didn't go because they were very violent. You know, they were spitting on people, they were trying to punch people. So I know I would have got beaten up because I was on all the no. TV shows America. 
America. I'm their number one target right now. Oh. And they're so violent. And you think, why can't you just have a dialogue? Why can't you have a sensible discussion? They're fascists now. They, they are, they've become, you know, it's Antifa. They've become almost like terrorists. They're very violent. They're causing problems. And I was speaking with someone the other day <coughs> that's very active in politics <coughs> in America. And they were saying, um, it was actually a charity. And they were saying that they've had these Antifa activists beat them up in the street, follow them, stalk them, call their workplace to try and get them fired. All for the fact that they're against these crazy pronouns and all for the fact they're against, you know, kids being uh, groomed in a sense mm. and, you know, trying to force these views on kids. And, you know, people that are speaking up are scared because they're getting beaten up or they're getting Are attacked. you worried to the extent that you've had to hire your own security people or are you OK at the moment? Um, I mean, I always have security if I'm doing like an event, like if I'm doing a K-pop event or something, mm. just because some of the K-pop fans can be a bit crazy with me. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, I feel like in America, I definitely need that. You know, the UK is very safe, but America is very divided and you have these very violent people in place places like Portland, Oregon, it's constant people rioting and they're extremely violent. You know, they walk around the streets with guns mm. um, and someone like me would be a prime target. And there are people that get attacked or killed based mm. on the fact that they're speaking up against these gender ideologies. I mean, look at the way women are treated. Women well, are completely thing, vilified it? just for like that lady. Posey well, Parker. they get beaten up, like I said yesterday. Yeah. By men, getting, by, by men, by men. Most of the time. say they're now women. Mm. And, mm. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry to suddenly uh, bring our conversations down to this um fairly serious level but on this program you never know where we're going to go that's why uh, i enjoy doing it so much so the cambridge dictionary has now uh, updated its definition of women to include uh, anybody a woman is somebody who identifies as female so if you identify as female you are a woman whether you have uh, male or female genitalia you're a woman if you say you feel female whether you're a man or a woman and that's confused me even just saying it. So why can't we just get on in the world? But, you know, uh, you can't really because the hormones of somebody. Now, I'm going through a hormone treatment at the moment. It's making me mm. quite strange. Mm. Yeah, but they've all been warned. <laughs> you've always been a, always More been a bit strange. Than normal, yeah. 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 Um, but it is something that I think we need to address because mm. it has become more prevalent than it needed to be because mm. this is this is a minority of a minority mm. um and uh i think um i think we should think about this quite sensibly and quite seriously before we go on taking the mick out of it because if you come up and and you, there's a university uh the cambridge dictionary is a, a very serious and usually a very sensible item and for this mm. uh to come up and say this it is taking this debate to a level it really doesn't deserve to be at. And a lot of other things are doing exactly the same thing. They're giving credence yeah. to an argument that doesn't deserve to... I'm taking this off for a moment. Well, a dictionary um, is meant to be... doesn't actually a, deserve to have A dictionary it. is meant to be, you know, a reflection, not an instruction. Mm. So mm. I'm Cambridge now saying that that's what the public think, that a woman... I think it was more a trans woman is it should be a separate no. thing, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, a separate description. Yeah, give, yeah, them, yeah, give yeah. them their own words. You know, why take a woman's, you know, yeah. right to exist? Exactly. Why take away from a woman or why take away from a man? Just make up your own word if you have to. Yeah. It's yeah. ridiculous, yeah. man. Mm. But you see, I mean, I can understand when you were you were concerned about whether you were a, uh, a man or a, mm. um, a woman mm. and you wanted to make this point mm. uh, and it was very important to you. But then it's mm. been taken over to some people who've drifted it into a different section of the debate. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's it's just become so politicised. And why are we even talking about this? Why is it even important what pronouns people is have? Is it since J.K. Rowling? I mean, she was right mm. to come out, but it's ever since then, it's because we already accepted trans people. But... Yeah, I mean, the majority of society accepts anyone, you know, whoever yeah. you are. It doesn't matter. People don't judge. You know, I don't judge people. We don't judge people. Mm. But, you know, this is, again, in the minority, like 0.03% of the population. Why are we talking about this every day? Why are, you know, these dictionaries, which are meant to be official language dictionaries, causing all this, you know, up? Yeah. it's not important let's focus on something that's important like the kids in schools mm. that are being taught these ideas that yeah. are not normal and not healthy why don't we talk about that instead of constantly talking about pronouns all this you know silliness well we've seen the damage mm. it did with that hospital that was transitioning kids yeah. when they were too young and yeah. they changed their mind the like Tavistock you clinic yeah. it's closed down now because exactly. of what they were doing and you know the it's NHS disgrace. have changed their advice mm. um, but you know how many kids did they ruin you know their lives of unbelievable mm. um, sorry to do that right at the end of the show but uh, I have um, Ollie thank you very much indeed Thanks, we will guys. talk uh, I'm sure in 2023 Well, I hope you enjoyed those bits and brought back some memories. And uh, join us again if we haven't been... No, I didn't in. enjoy it. No, no, he didn't. I'm going to have a word with him afterwards. Uh, have a great end of year. 
See you soon. <laughs>